Good morning. Hi, and this is my happy birthday show. <laughs> Hi, so I'm Wendy Gardner. Welcome to Sewing Street TV. We're going to have a real blast today. We've got some great shows coming up and we've got some great offers. But first of all today, let's look at the early bird offer. And whilst we look at that, we must remind you, if you've not seen it already, we have a special happy birthday offer, which is £10 off when you spend £50 in one order. So if you, if you want to get the early bird order now, which is 9 99 you can leave your basket open until you buy something else. But do be warned that we have a limited, edition, a limited amount of this, and this is the first time we've seen this. So you might want to check out on that and then start your, your collation for your £50 um, order for the next lot, because we've got loads of really lovely stuff. So there's plenty for you to see. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be really exciting. Oh, and there's more, there's more. If you order something today, you go into a free fry draw, prize draw to win this lovely bag here, which is absolutely amazing. It's got uh, interior pockets as well. I love pockets. Interior pockets, pockets all around the outside. You win this and you win this charm pack and you win the little badge. So you'll be one of the few that has this badge. So that's everybody that shops today goes into that prize drawer and you also get now this is the clincher this is the thing that's going to make you order you also get a signed photo of me um so uh, uh that and that's yeah that that's uh, that's an offer for everybody when you shop today so let's look at the early bird offer look at this it's this lovely mug i can't tip it around because i've got coffee in it but what it is, it's got scissors on it and it's sort of got a row of stitching and the handle is a pair of scissors. Isn't that lovely? It's really good. And if you <laughs> and it's got good, good coffee in it. I've just made the coffee. It's a lovely mug. It's a nice big mug for a nice big cup of coffee. But it kind of adds to the craft. And if you, uh, if you don't use it for a mug, you can use it as a container for your pens and things, for your scissors or whatever else you use. So it's got a lot of uses, this really mug. So it's 9 99 This is our early bird offer. It's the first time we've had this on. We have got a limited amount of them. And don't forget, as I say, if you want to accumulate more in the basket to get to your £50 worth, you can leave it in the basket until you buy something else. But do be warned that if we get more in the basket than we have available, it will be then first come, first served. So it might be something you think, you know what, I'm going to buy that now, make sure I've got that. And then there'll be something else later on today because there will be. We've got some really great things for you to see. First show. Oh, got a message from Elizabeth. So Elizabeth says, morning, everybody, and happy birthday to me. So thank you, Elizabeth. That's really great. She's pleased about the discount, that's, which I should think everybody is. And I tell you, you might see in front of me here something I'm not talking about yet, but look at that. And we've only got a limited stock of it, and I want one. But I'm here, so I can't order it. But it is on pre-order, so you can. So <laughs> you're all right there. Oh, another happy birthday from Rosemary. Thank you. That's very good. Lovely coffee. This is, this is not often you get to drink your coffee on set or... You do it openly, but I can do it openly because it's a birthday treat. And when I've got Jane Greenoff from the Cross Stitch Guild here later, you might see me having a sneaky cake too. I've got a birthday cakes there as well. But I've had one for breakfast already. Right. So should we look at the menus? OK, so what have we got today? So at eight o'clock, we've got a whole selection. It's like a happy birthday, Wendy. And I went through the website and I looked at things that I love that I've already got myself and I swear by and other things that I are on my wish list. So we're going to go through some of those. We've got some scissors, some lovely side bent serrated edge scissors. A perfect, must have scissors, uh, the little embroidery scissors. We've got an ironing mat, prim ironing mat use it all the time. So there's quite a few things like that. I'm going to show you those in just a minute. Then at nine o'clock, we are joined by Jane Greenoff. And I was so excited when I got the uh, note that she was coming in today because Jane and I have known each other, I hate to say, probably about 30 years. 
and uh, we, 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 we have known each other so long and uh, have a great deal of respect for Jane and her amazing skills in cross stitch. She set up the Cross Stitch Guild um, and uh, anyway, you will see what she's done. I'm sure you've seen her before. Beautiful, beautiful work, lots of kits for with her. Then at 10 o'clock, we have a fabric show. So yes, my passion. It's going to include the bundle in front of me if it's still available at that point. And there's also lots of fat quarter bundles and jelly roll bundles. Or are we supposed to call those strips? I think jelly rolls are trademark. But uh, yeah, you, you know what I mean when I say those beautiful, fabulous fabrics. And I absolutely love them. And then 11 o'clock, Jane's back with some more cross stitch details and you must must bear with me on the cross stitch because what we've got today i'm so excited about is a cd rom that you can design your own and jane's going to tell us all about it we've had a quick chat absolutely amazing so that's something to look forward to and then at 12 o'clock we are over to yarn lane and we are going to be looking at sock kits, which have been on before and they're very, very popular. And I can totally understand why. They're absolutely amazing. And I am reliably informed and actually quite easy to make. So we will have a good look at those in a bit. So uh, another message from Pauline. Ah, thank you, Pauline. So Pauline has said happy birthday and glad I'm sharing my birthday with you. I am delighted to be sharing it, actually. It's, um, it makes a real different birthday. And look at this, all my balloons and cake. What more could you want? So it's really fabulous. So I'm going to go over and start looking at all the other things. Don't forget, if you definitely want this lovely mug, which holds this coffee beautifully and lovely and hot, you might need to check out this one uh, to make sure you definitely get it. Okay. I'm just, I'm just going to take the keyboard off. <laughs> right. We're going to, oh, yeah. <laughs> so this was on the, this was on the other day. This one I've absolutely loved. It'd be nice, don't you think it would be nice? Write in and say that I could keep everything that's on this set. So this is the uh, first part that we've got. It's got reverse light from Native Lighting. If you joined me uh, the other week, you will have seen this. So you turn it on. It's powered by, uh, it's a USB one, this one. And it's got, a, it's got a little rechargeable thing in the top here. So once it's charged, and it will last on the lower light setting, it will last all night. So great little night light for the children. Or what I was thinking is you could have this in your bathroom and you can lower and raise the light density, you see? And you can have that in the bathroom as a little, you know, little night light. So if you have to stumble out to the loo in the middle of the night, and sadly more and more of us do nowadays, nothing to do with age, of course. And you can also flip it over and it changes to a warm light. Now, it's probably difficult for you to see that because of all the studio lights around me. But this light is now sort of soft, orangey yellow, which is really, yes, yeah, so if we turn the studio lights down. Oh, look at that. So that's a sort of a yellowy light. And then if I turn it this way, it becomes, you can't really see the, it, it really does show do. So this is now like a daylight. So this is great for your crafting. So if you want to do any crafting, you've got it. But it's not too, it's, it's just a small area. So it's not going to detract. So if you're sitting doing a little bit of crafting when your hubby is watching TV, you're not going to distract him. You can do that. As I say, great little night light for the children's room or in the bathroom. Or if you take it into a cupboard, you know you've got a cupboard and you want to be able to see in the cupboard, you've got your little light here that you can take with you. So don't forget today, if you spend more than £50, you get £10 off and go into that free draw and you get a picture of me. Hey, what more could you want? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yes, yeah, sorry, you have to say, what's the code? Just Wendy. <laughs> Wendy at checkout. So this is the lovely, this is the first, I just love this. So it takes it down, if you have the discount, to 53.99. So we haven't done a discount before on this light. So it's really good. And then turn it up. And it has got a little carrying handle. 
So you can carry that around. As I say, if you want to go into a cupboard or a dark garage or into the loft and you haven't got light in the corners of the loft, you've got this little light that you can carry with you. So it's really handy. And a little on off. So isn't that lovely? So I really like that's Yeah, that's a must have for me. Oh, yes. We're going to go to the ironing sheet. Now, this is something that I have had. I'm going to open the pack because you've got to see it. This is something that I have got and I use at home all the time. And I also, I have one, I, I teach a local class and I have it at the local class as well. It's instead of using an ironing board, um, so it's an additional piece of equipment. Look at it, it's lovely and big. And it has got, it's, it's got a nice grid on it. Now I wouldn't, I wouldn't rely on that perfect accuracy for your patchwork and quilting but it does help when you're pressing things and you can see the lines it also it can sit like this and it has pockets so I, I in this pocket here I keep my press cloth I've got my little press cloth in there it's got a little pin cushion so you can pop your pins in and it's got other pockets so you can have your scissors and things like that as well and it's a lovely big flat surface the pockets are not detachable. This one is, having said, that one is. So this one that's, that I, I use for my, um, uh, my ironing mat, sorry, my press cloth, it is detachable. But the other ones are built in. And you can use it either side. So on the front, you've got the cotton and the grid, and on the back, you have the silver. So you can use it either side on any table because it protects your table. So I have this next to my sewing machine. And when I want to iron seams in between, you know, stitching and things, it's really nice and easy to do it because it's right there rather than having to keep getting up to the ironing board. So I find this invaluable. I really do. So I use that. I thoroughly recommend it. So this is, I think it's called an ironing sheet, this one. I'm not sure if I can fold it up perfectly, but I'll try that later. I'll try that later. I'll put that behind me. Oh, yes, the ham. So this is, this is the ham, and called a ham because it's ham-shaped. And basically, it's for pressing shapes. So it is more for dressmaking, really. So if you are making clothes and you're doing darts, which is what you do to shape your fabric, then you would press the dart over one of the curves here that it fits. And it just presses the fabric into the shape that you want, rather than pressing it flat. Because the whole point of darts is to shape a garment. So you use a ham to press around it. So it's really useful. And it's, it's, it's again, it's, a, it's one of those things that if you dress make, it's a must have. You can, um, any, any curved area you can do. And it also helps prevent getting the seam on the underside coming through when you're pressing. So you use a ham. So that's a really useful thing. Got one of those, use that a lot. Scissors. Now these, I've got some, two different pairs here. I'm going to bring both in. So this pair here, this is nine inch dressmaking shears. And this is what these are like. So one of the things is that they lie sort of flat on the table as you cut, which makes them for a more comfortable cutting position. Now these are for right handed use, um, although they're not too bad actually. Maybe they are, more, maybe they are for both. Yes, ambidextrous, because they actually, yeah, actually they're not too bad at all if you're a lefty. Um, but what, what I like about them is that they have very slight serrated blades. You can't really see that, but what it means when you are cutting, particularly slippery fabrics, it's a lot easier because the blades kind of grip the fabric as you cut. So they don't slip away, so they're really good. And as I say, they're, I love that sound, you love that sound of cutting. And because of the angle of the handles it means you're cutting sort of flat on the table so these are a must-have in my sewing box I have these and these these are only 9.99 which is quite cheap for a good pair of dressmaking shears it's good if you're building up your basket this might be one to add to it handy to have um, even if you've got good dressmaking shears at the moment and to be honest with you I have four pairs 
Um, you always, I find that different ones work better with different things. So definitely these I use for my silky fabrics, slippery fabrics, anything that's going to kind of try and run away from me as I cut it. And then I have other pairs for other use. And I've got some pairs that if I'm using fabric that maybe has some metal in the content, I'll use them because it might blunt them and I don't want to use my sort of bestest. So that's what I do. I have kind of different pairs for different reasons. So those are those. And then we have, and again, these for me are a must have. These are uh, um, the embroidery scissors. Now we've had these before, because again, these are, if I can get them out of here without ruining the packaging. Look at these, little tiny, very, very sharp points. Now this means that when you're snipping in, when you have to snip into seams, you can snip. I mean, it's really sharp, so you can snip really easily. So when you're wanting to snip into curves, cut out wedges, cut really, so if you're doing a V-neck, for instance, you have to cut closely down to the stitching, obviously not through the stitching, but you cut as close as possible. Little scissors like this mean you can really get in there. And obviously, they're embroidery scissors, so they're great for cutting your embroidery threads too. So another pair of scissors that it's a must have in your work basket, in my opinion. So that's a really nice pair there. But I want to also talk, talking about cutting threads. Notice how we move on so smoothly there. Look at this. This I love, I just love this. This is a box. This is Tula Pink. So Tula Pink is a designer who designs beautiful quilts and things. And these are, um, I never know if it's all fill or airy fill. Or we fill, but so again, a really good quality name of threads that a lot of quilters will swear by. But I love these because most of the pack here, so it all comes in this lovely pack, so it's all neatly kept together, a variegated thread. So you can see that, can't you, how they're variegated. They're lovely. So I've got a couple of solids, but the rest are variegated. And these are beautiful for when you're doing top stitching or decorative work. And I particularly like using these when I'm doing decorative sort of satin stitches. So if you're doing like a shell stitch or a star stitch or anything like that that you have on your machine and you use these threads, they just look wonderful. They really do. So these are beautiful threads. And there's a lot, 1,300 metres on each spool. So normally a normal sort of small spool is, um, I can't remember exactly, but it's a lot, lot less than that. So this is a lot of thread on one spool. So you are getting a lot and we are selling these at 88 99 But don't forget today, you can save, because it's over £50, you can save your £10. You can only save it once, I have to tell you. It is only the once, but it's when you spend £50 or more and you just have to put the code WENDY in. So nobody will ever forget my name again. So that would take these down to 78.99, which is a really good value. If you divide that by 12, so per spool, six pounds 58 per spool. And then that, or we're going to work out how much per meterage, 50p per 100 meters. So you kind of like bring it down to how you would compare it to a smaller, sort of regular size reel. So really beautiful, beautiful threads, lots of different colours, so you'll have something for everything. And as I say, really, really lovely when you're going to do anything sort of top stitching, anything that's going to show on the finished project. That's really lovely. So I love those, put those to one side. Which one's the, this one? Yes. So look at this bag. This is, this is a pattern for a bag. Can I grab it? Oh, can you see it if I grab it? So this is from Lovely Kerry from Living in Loveliness. Oh, she was on yesterday. Uh, shame I missed her. Oh, what's inside it? Anything exciting? No, just a box. Uh, <laughs> so, so the pattern is for the bag. You don't get the fabric. You choose your own fabrics. It's very clear on the back what you need. And of course, you've got the how to make it. And isn't that superb? You could definitely use remnants. You can definitely use your fat quarters. So, and we've got fat quarters coming at 10. So this is going to be perfect for that. So that's the front of it. And the back is plain. But hey, there's no reason why you can't put the, do the same on the back as the front. Absolutely no reason at all. Isn't that lovely? It's a nice size bag. 
it's a great it's a great bag for whatever it could be a shopping bag it can be your beach bag it could actually just be the bag that you take your stuff in if you added a magnetic clasp at the top if you wanted to or even just a simple popper you can use that as a regular bag so that is beautiful i think i just loved that one so that was one of my sort of favorite picks of the day so you could use those beautiful threads to do some top stitching on that. You've got tops, you've got the stitching here. You see what I mean about that? So top stitching is basically when it's on the surface. So you've got all of this stitching here. And if you use those variegated threads, it will really make it all pop out. Absolutely beautiful. Love that one. Oh, right. We've had some questions. Ah, OK, so the voucher code works for everything on the website. So it doesn't have to be things that I'm showing you today. It could be something you've also got your eye on and has had your eye on for a while. It won't work in conjunction with split play. So it's, it's only when you order and pay the whole lot, not, not a split pay purchase. So over £50 in one basket transaction. OK, so it's, and it's just the one. So do have a look on the website if you've got something else you fancy and it's not what we've got here. Um, it might be you want needles. It might be you want some new pins or some clips or something that something smaller to get your discount. So don't feel you've got to do it from just the things that we're showing you right now, because obviously some of these things aren't 50 pounds. I mean, obviously the patterns aren't 50 pounds. The scissors aren't. It's a matter of adding things up, isn't it? And don't forget, everything on today's shows are on pre-order. So again, you can go to the What's Watch Live section and then you can scroll down and you'll see all of the things. Oh, look, the bestseller is the lighting. It is gorgeous, that. And then look at the threads. Oh, and we've got the light box. Now, this, this, let's have a look at this light box. It should be plugged in. Is it going to work because it's not plugged in? No, it's not. Um, Hold on. Is this it? Let me have a look. Testing my ability to. Oh, that looks like it's gone in. Yes, right. So that's that's like you, I don't, you probably can't tell the difference to be honest <laughs> with the TV, but but what what it, what this is useful for? So it's, it's a really nice size. What it's really useful for is when you need to copy patterns. So if you buy a book and in the back of the book you've got the templates and you don't want to cut up the book, you can lay it on your light box and you can then transfer it onto a paper because you'll be able to see through. And it's better than taping it on the window, which is the other way of doing it. So this one is exclusive to Sewing Street. It's A3 size, so it's a nice big size here. Um, and you just plug it in and it's, uh, it's attached there. And then you just got a little on off button and there it is on. I don't know if you can really see that. Can you see the difference? Oh, oh, I've just noticed, look. When you press, press it, it has different settings. So it gets brighter and brighter. That's handy. So depending on what you need, are we going to put the lights down again? Can you see that? Look at that. Woo! So different light settings. So that's really handy. So it's a handy, handy little piece of kit, $49.99. Um, so of course that makes it, does that make it $39.99? If you find something else. So if you had this and the early bird thing, you're still one penny short. So you might have to buy one more thing. <laughs> So it's $9.99 for your early bird, and then $39.99 for this. With, is that with the discount, $49.99? Yeah, so it's $49.99. Yeah. Ah, oh, I see. So you can add them two together, then you take out the £10. Yes. Brilliant. I was taking off the £10 first. That makes more sense. So yes, it's, this is a lovely, this lovely handy piece of kit to have. As I say, it's, it makes copying patterns so much easier when you want to transfer patterns, especially on darker days. It's much, much easier. And 
things like, yeah, we're going to speak about Jane and I'm sure she will find uses for this as well because um, she has lots of cross stitch patterns. And this is something that if you, you can transfer things more easily, it's just a very handy piece of kit. So let's turn that one off. I'm going to do some patterns next, running out of space. So these are patterns that um, you can see there's a bit of a theme to them. These are patterns that I went through the website and I chose. And there's actually a complete mixture. So let me go them, through them one by one. This is the flounce dress. Uh, this is a so different pattern. So it's a really lovely, well, well produced pattern on good quality paper. On the back, it's got everything you need. It shows you the pieces, tells you how much fabric, tells you what type of fabric. Um, and it gives you a description here. So it, it kind of you get an idea of what you're going to make before you even start. It even gives you a difficulty level. So this says it's two out of five. So fairly easy to make. Um, and they say three hours. Now, normally the timed on a timed pattern is the time it takes to sew, not cutting out as well. Because cutting out actually can take virtually as long as sewing sometimes. Um, you need to get that right. But I particularly love it. I just love the colour blocking on it. I think this will be really comfortable to wear. Um, the fabric it's suggesting you use is crepe, viscose, uh, silk, lightweight wool, jersey and other stretch. It says if you use stretch, you might want to make a smaller size because obviously it's a stretch. Um, so it's a really lovely, I just love it. I think this would go anywhere and be comfortable to wear. So you have that combination of looking really good and having something that's comfortable. You do get a, a blog, a blog post with so different patterns. So there's always uh, online help available to you. So I like that about, about the so different patterns. And it has different suggestions. Oh, and the size range, eight to 26. Um, so it's a really good size range. Let me see if I can see what that means in proper size. So um, eight is, oh, it's in it's centimeters. Let's put it into inches. Eight is a 33 inch bust going up to a 50 and a quarter inch bust. For those that are on metric, it's 84 to 128 bust. So it's, it's a nice size range. And all of the different sizes have got different cutting lines, which are easy to follow. So that makes it really good. And of course, you know, if you're a bigger size at top, as I am, and then go down to a smaller size. You just go from one cutting line to another. That's the great thing, making your own clothes. And I mean, I, I can't buy a jacket in the shop. If I try and buy a jacket to fit around the fullest part here, uh, I, it's far too big on my shoulders and my back. But then if it fits my shoulders and back, it doesn't close up. So, you know, I have to make my own. I did make the dress I'm wearing today. Yeah, it's, um, it's a short sleeve wrap dress and uh, I've actually done I've got matching shoes and I've done a lettuce edge hem on it which I really like yes this fabric's one a friend of mine Jo um, in So Creative in Petersfield I got my fabric from her I get a lot of fabric from her beautiful oh thank you for all your wishes of happy birthday I really do appreciate it it makes it so special it is it's fun what else could I do Oh, <laughs> Kat says she blew up the balloons by hat by herself yesterday, used all her air. So she went home, couldn't speak to anybody. <laughs> so this, this is the tulip dress. And again, I just think this is so gorgeous and looks such a lovely, easy dress to wear, but can look really smart. So again, we have the same size range. It's again, it's by So Different. It's 8 to 26. It's a really pretty pattern with a little inverted pleat in the front there. It's, it's got shaping to skim the waist to give an idea of thing without being tight on the waist. And again, I like the colour blocking on it. And it's got pockets. Gonna love a pocket. Um, and yet again, what we've got on the back here, we've got all the details that you need. So you've got your layouts. So your pattern pieces, your description, type of fabric. So this is a mid-weight cotton, linen, denim, corduroy, lightweight wool, scuba, double knit. So it's a, more of, it's a more of a medium weight fabric. It's a more of a robust fabric in order to hold that shape. 
So it tells you what you need and it tells you how much you need, of course, as well. Yes, yeah, so it's got your layout. It's, again, the difficulty level, just two out of five stars. So it's quite a, a simple pattern and again, a three hours sewing time. So that's really, really handy. Oh, there have been demonstrations on these in the past. So if you go, go to the YouTube channel, um, the Sewing Street YouTube channel, and then put in Sew Different or Tulip Dress, you should be able to find the tutorial that goes with that, which is beautiful. Oh, ah, you're going to trust it. Happy birthday, darling. Keep up the good work. Love your wrap dress, Lynn. Oh, thank you, Linda. Again, this is one of those dresses that's lovely to wear, very comfy. I wasn't up at six, I was up at five in order to be here at six. And that's because I stay the night before, otherwise I'd have had to be up at two. Which is why I stay the night before. So, <laughs> makes sense to me. So look at this one. This is the colour block dress. So can you see it? It's a little bit of a theme with these three. They've all got sort of like colour blocking and colour choicing, which I really like. And another one that looks, looks amazing, but easy to wear. So it'd be very, very comfortable as well. Same size range, 8 to 26. So it's a really good size range there. And you decide what colours. I mean, if you're looking at this, it, these aren't my colours, as you probably all know by now. Um, but I absolutely love the colour blocking of it. But you can use whatever colours you like. So you can choose some really bright colours or you could choose different denims or, you know, you can choose. It's, it's a whole sort of choice. Again, it tells you on the back the kind of fabrics, as I say, suitable for denim, heavy cotton, scuba and other non-wovens. Uh, it's not suitable for jersey, this one, because of all the points and the angles on it. The jersey could stretch out of shape as you're trying to sew it. So it's not suitable for jerseys this time, but for, again, more heavier weight fabrics. So something with um, bulk to it. Well, another message. OK, let's have, I'm having a quick slurp of coffee. Mm. Thank you. So uh, just in case people can't read this, she says she loves the fact I always wear the clothes that I've made. That is definitely my trademark. I do always. Not, I mean, sometimes at home I wear things I haven't made. But when I'm out and about, that's, that's what I am. That's who I am. I teach it. I, I, I live it. I breathe it. And in fact, if you cut off my leg and looked inside, it would say I love sewing going down the middle of it. Um, so anyway, she's been inspired. So I'm really pleased about that. Well done. I'm thank you. I'm really glad, glad that you have been because I love it. I, I love it with a passion. I really do. Um, and I've been very lucky in my career. I mean, I started I started by writing a magazine for the army when I lived in Germany, which was uh, sheer fluke, not on fashion, actually. I absolutely loved it. I used to go travelling with my army husband and, uh, and then I'd do reports on it. So we went to some great places and, um, and then we'd, uh, anyway, all sorts of stories and things, produced this magazine, came back to England and I got a job at Vogue and Butterick Patterns to edit their magazines. And it was the editing experience that got me the job. And, you know, do I sew? Yes, I always have done, even as a little child I sewed. So that was it. I was then immersed in sewing from then onwards. And um, if you'd asked me when I was at school if I would do this as a career, I would have laughed. If you'd asked my, my needlework teacher, she would have laughed her socks off. <laughs> but, um, but I have. I've done it and I love it. It's, it's my life. And now I'm like on TV in something I've made, surrounded by haberdashery and patterns and fabrics. I mean, really? A, oh, and cake. <laughs> a real dream. A dream. Anyway, enough of that. One last pattern. Now, this is a Butterick pattern. Um, I'm not sure how many of you know, but Butterick was the very first pattern company uh, back in about that way. That way, OK. Back in about um, 1865, Ebenezer Butterick designed a dress for his wife. And that's how Butterick patterns started. So they're the oldest pattern company. Um, and of course, that means they have got years and years and years of experience behind them. Um, their patterns, so the so different patterns are on paper and these are on tissue. There's advantages to both. Paper is more robust and will last uh, without ripping much longer. But tissue is easier to tissue fit. So there's, there's swings and roundabouts of both of these. Um, this one here is a very simple top. 
and you can see the top on here and there's and there's two different views so it's very simple um, this is it's a square cut neck actually so this is quite it's quite a nice neckline diff little bit different um, and this pattern will come in two size ranges but this size range is 6 to 14 but do remember that is pattern sizing not ready to wear sizing so it's really important that you measure yourself because unfortunately I hate to say this but you will be bigger in a pattern than you are in ready to wear um, it's it's just the way the pattern they basically it's because the sizing the international sizing was agreed back in the 1950s and it hasn't changed but we have because we we eat better food or worse food depending on how you look at it and uh, and so we've changed but the pattern sizing hasn't so don't worry about it it's it's totally immaterial you don't put the size label in the back so if you end up as I am for my bust I'm a, a size 18 but when I go to the shops to buy clothes, I'm a 12, depending on what I'm buying. Sometimes I'm a 14, 12 or 14, but patterns, I'm, but who knows? Who cares? What it means is I make something that fits me. So that's all you need to remember. And again, on the back of the pattern, it has all this information that you need to know, including finished garment measurements, what fabric you need, what the sizing means, the different sizes by bust waist. So that's what you look at on here. Take your measurements and then you choose your pattern by your measurements when you're choosing a top you choose it by your bust measurements if if you are a larger bust size you take two measurements you take your high bust which is above and your full bust and if it's more than two and a half to three inches difference you choose by your high bust and that way it will fit perfectly shoulders and back and then if you need to, you do a full bust adjustment to fit over the fuller part. Something like this, which is very loose fitting, you probably won't need to. So a full bust adjustment, it sounds scary. Uh, there's lots of YouTube videos on it. You can go onto the Sew Direct website, which is the website for Vogue Buttrick McCall's Simplicity Birda uh, Quick Sew. So it's that website for all of those. They have it on there in their fitting instructions. Um, so it's, it's quite an easy thing to do when you know how, of course. And it's something I have to do for every single pattern. So it's become second nature to me. But it is worth noting that. Uh, so the size range means, I'm, I'm going to have to grab my glasses. I'll leave that there for you to scan in while I grab my glasses. <laughs> Otherwise, I can't tell you. Just to make sure, so the size range we're going from 6 is a 30 and a half inch bust to a 14 which is a 36 inch bust. So that's the sizes. So this is the smaller size pack but you can get the same pattern in the larger size pack which would take you probably from 14 to 22. So it is available in those larger sizes. So I just love it. I love the sleeve variation. I like the fact it's quite a sort of it is it's a flattering design and I think it's something you can so comfortably wear with trousers and you can wear them with elasticated waist trousers and nobody would know they're elasticated waist because you'd hide that under there. So it's a really lovely pattern. Oh, the code for today's discount, just to remind you, it's very simply Wendy. That's it. That's all you have to say. So all you have to do is spend £50 so it could be you add things to your basket until you've got £50 worth and then you will save £10. OK, that's how it works, but only the once. So you could build it up from little things or you could do one of the bigger things that we've got on the show today. I mean, we've got these lovely things here. I've got some fabrics to show you. I've got another bag to show you. And of course, the other shows we've got coming up, we've got Jane's Cross Stitch shows and she's got this amazing sampler, which is beautiful. Uh, you've got to do it yourself, though. You don't get the finished product, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And of course, we've got the fabric show. So, you know, and, and we've got Yarn Lane as well later with sock making kits. So something for everybody there. Let's do some fabrics. OK, let's start these. So Kat's chosen these for me and she's chosen them because they're colourful, because she knows I like colourful. Now these would make this one. This is the one they'd make. But obviously these come in half metre pieces. So if you did want any of these for this, you would need to get multiples of the half metre. And just to give you an idea, in case that's in your 
mind. Uh, they're about 140 wide, so I'm going to go. So on here for a 6 to a 14, you need about 1.5 metres. So you'd need three times that, OK? So you'd buy three units to your basket. And they are 9.99 each. All right, OK, sorry, that's the pattern. Um, we go to the fabrics in a second. So this, this one, look. Field of flowers. It, it's a viscose chalice lawn. So this is 7 99 for the half metre. So three times that if you wanted to make it for that blouse. That is so lovely and soft and would make it beautifully. That would look gorgeous in there. I love that. I love the colours of that. As you knew I, cat, knew I would. That's, um, is this going to be my favourite? Let's have a look and see. Ooh. <laughs> so I just... Yes, it is 140 wide, which is important to know. So the pattern asks for 115 or 150. That's why I've actually added sort of 10 centimetres to the 150 amount. This one again, look at that. That's, that screams summer, doesn't it? You might, you might need to wear a little camisole underneath that because it, unless you're going to be a little bit risque. But uh, it, is, it is beautiful. And of course, not, not only would this make this blouse beautifully, which is why we put the two together here, but this would also make a lovely kimono for the beach or just for indoors when you, you, know, you get up in the morning in the summer, you make a cup of coffee, you sit and look out in your beautiful garden, which I don't have, but I will do one day. And uh, you can just enjoy. So it's beautiful. It's very, very soft. It would make a nice wrap dress too, a soft wrap dress. But if you had it as um, a wrap, you would probably wear a slip underneath it because it, it is a little bit see-through. Not totally, but just a little bit. That's that one. And then this one. Now, this one's got a little bit more uh, body to it, this one. Cotton lawn, we think this one is. It's 100% cotton. And it, again, it's, got, it's lovely soft, but it's a digital print. So you can see it's... But it's just, it's, it's almost like somebody's thrown confetti. Oh! It's called Prosecco Fizz. Who names these? <laughs> Perfect birthday one. It is lovely. This is this is a little, maybe a little bit more classic than the flowery ones. So this would be really nice. And again, it's got some body to it, which I quite like because it's a cotton, not a viscose. So that's a really nice piece. So don't forget, just remember that if you're making, if you're not sure what you want to make, at the moment, but you would quite like the idea of making a garment. Now I'm thinking garments because that's what I've got here is pattern. Of course, you can use all of these for other things as well. These, the, this you could use because it's a cotton. These viscose ones are really garments. They, they definitely are garments. Um, but you can use this for other projects, this one, because it's a nice cotton. And then, oh, I like this. Now this has a linen feel to it. This is nice. Oh, look at this, look at this. <sighs> This is a viscose again, but it has a very, it feels like linen, so it's not the soft, slippery, slimy, uh, slidey one. It's 55% linen. See, I could feel the linen in that. 55% linen, 45% viscose. And the beauty about that is linen, as we all know, creases like mad, doesn't it? So having that um, polyester or viscose in it means it will still crease because it's got linen, but not in the same amount. It's, it's not, it doesn't make it any diff difference to work with um, because it still has that stability of the linen, but it just means that when you're wearing it and uh, you sit down and have a, it's not like I'm always having a drink, by the way. But when you, when, you sit down and, when you sit down and have a cup of tea or a coffee, then you get up and then you just look creased, which I know is the, is the look you're supposed to go for linen. You know, people know that you're wearing 100% linen when you get up looking like a rag. But I don't go for that look. I prefer to look a little bit uh, more smart. So I like the fact that it's got the viscose in there to give it that. Um, so it's, it will still crease, but it won't be awful. But look at these flowers. But this is me. This is definitely me. Yeah, this is definitely me. And I could actually see, you could use, so this one, you see, this is plain. You don't have to do it plain. So you could actually use this 
for that. So I know it's a tulip dress and then you're using roses or whatever they are, but that doesn't matter. But they would go together. And on this one, um, you've got different fabric quantities for the different, because you've got, oh, I don't, yeah, you've got, a, you've got a contrast on the bottom. So that's quite nice. I mean, I, I don't know if that one is, or whether it's because that looks like it's variegated, but this one's definitely got a contrast on the alternative view here. So you can sort of look at that and decide. So generally for a dress, I go, I tend to buy three or three and a half meters just in case. If it's a straight dress and short sleeves, two meters should be fine. But because I often like the full skirted dresses, which will take three, three and a half, I tend to kind of just go for that. And then I have spare, which I can use for other things. So that, that is, that, I love that. That's, yeah, is that gonna be my favorite for this one? Oh, difficult to tell. So that's a really beautiful one again. And then lastly, this one. Ah, now this is different. So this has got like a scuba feel to it. And look at that. Again, it's I just love, although it's more autumnal colours, I just love the big flowers, the big splash of flowers there. So this is 96 polyester, 4% spandex because it's a stretch scuba style. And when you're sewing with something like this, the best thing to use is a stretch needle. So you get ballpoint needles and you get stretch needles. And a stretch needle is really good for a dense stretch fabric like this, something like scuba, something that's got spandex or lycra in, you use a stretch needle. And that prevents getting skip stitches. So that's a needle to use. So this one, now which one did it say? There was one, this one is the one it said you need this thicker fabric. So you could use this sort of thing in that. You just use one part and then you could use, pick out some of these other colors in plain. So we've got, we've got some, this, did this one say not jersey, which is, oh yeah, not suitable, well, because I was gonna say we've got some nice jerseys, but not jerseys for this one. But you can color block with other things. It doesn't always have to be plain. You can have patterns. This would make a, a nice skirt as well. This would make a nice sort of uh, fitted skirt. Um, one of my friends, Sue Cotton, she went through a period of making, she just, quick, quick as anything, she would make these skirts, which actually uh, another friend of ours, Claire, was teaching this skirt pattern. She teaches it at these shows. Um, and it's a, a stretch skirt pattern. And it sounds, sounds like you know, you're going to have a bulky waist with lots of gathers, but you don't. You have an elasticated waist, but it's kind of fitted. So it's really good. And this fabric is perfect for that. Oh, I've got loads of messages on Facebook. So you're going to let me read it last. Oh, when, yes. Wendy, Wendy um, Orlando, so she's one of the guests that you probably all know, she said that she can't believe that um, there's a better way of spending a birthday than being surrounded by everything you love. I totally agree, absolutely agree. It really is. Rachel? Oh! Okay, she demoed the flounce dress. Is that, is that Rachel is Isley? Is yes, yes. Also, she and I are on shows together on the 14th of March, I think, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, so yes, she's, she's demonstrated this one. Oh, did she this one? Used it in this fabric? Oh, you've got to bring it in, Rachel. Did you make it for yourself? That is gorgeous. We have got some other fabric, of course. So these are the fabrics that have got the colour and the beauty. You can see, I'm sorry, I, I waste a bit of time folding them up, but I, I do like things to be neat and tidy. <laughs> so we have two lots here. We've got, what we have here is some soft jersey. This is plain jersey. This is this really soft raspberry colour. So that's very, very pretty. It's not, it's not a, and it's, I don't know, it, this is kind of like got a brushed reverse. Very soft against the skin. This would be perfect for lounging pyjamas. Or if you got, you know, like a, t I mean, I did a t-shirt class on Zoom yesterday and uh, you could you make this in, t you could make a t-shirt in this and that would feel so gorgeous against your skin that really would it's lovely for that for that t-shirt it was a new look pattern that i was teaching and you needed 1.3 meters 
So again, you'd have to buy three sets of this and it's 4 49 So for just over £12, you'd buy enough to make your own custom made t-shirt. Oh, and it's so, so comfy. Yeah, and you make it to the size to fit. So if you, if you could see the pattern when I cut out my pattern and it sort of goes in and out, so it goes sort of out round here, then it goes in a little bit and then it goes out a bit. Uh, it looks a bit weird, but when it's on me, it fits. And that's the bit that's important. So that's one. But we also have it in ivory. And actually, you see, look at that. This could be, oh, baby, baby grows. Make a little baby pyjama set in this. And you would absolutely, they'd absolutely love it. Again, it has that lovely brushed feel on the inside. So that would be so comfortable against the skin. And if you use your overlocker, you can use a bulky thread in the outer looper, the lower looper, and then it will be soft against the skin. Or, of course, you could use French seams. Make it nice and soft against the skin. That would be beautiful. And I can see this as well. So this is a lovely piece. Again, it's the half metre. I can see that together. Top in that one, bottoms in that one. Look a bit like an ice cream. Neapo is it a Neapolitan or a raspberry one? But yes, just need a chocolate to go with it. So you can have chocolate slippers. So, uh, Diane's got a message. I might have to grab my other glove. Oh, happy birthday, Wendy. Thank you. What a lovely day. Uh, or oh, have a lovely day. Always enjoy when you are on saying so. Oh, thank you. Uh, I love all the programmes. So oh, thank you so entertaining. I have to get my other glasses. Well, thank you, Diana. <laughs> I've got two pairs of glasses here. So close up, I need one pair, the other I need another. I tried variegated, but they didn't suit me. I, I struggled. I was forever kind of looking up and around and down. Um, so yeah, I just, I managed with two pairs. So look at that. Ooh, let's look at the other sets of fabrics because these have got a bit of sparkle and they kind of go together as well. So I'm going to keep those in sight. So look at this. It, this, is, this is definitely what we need at the moment and going for let's start with the pink because they kind of go together by the way but this pink it's got a bit of glitter a little bit of glitter look at that so this has got a little bit of silver glitter can you see the silver glitter it's very pretty this would this again this would make a lovely top um, sort of looser than a t-shirt like a sweatshirty type top this would make beautifully and look on the underside oh Bring that into here. Look at that. It's soft, woolly, woolly underside. Isn't that lovely? And actually, if you've got a pattern that you show, you know, if you like reverse on the collars, it, that would be quite nice to show that on the collars. It would just roll nicely and it would look really nice. It looked like you've got a con contrast collar and all it is is the underside. So that's a really lovely one. So, you know, look for a pattern for a nice top with a cow neck or a, just like a little, little raised mandarin collar. That's really pretty. And then we have, we're got, um, it's called ochre on the site, but we're going to call it gold. Gold. This has got a gold fleck in it. Look at that. And again, it's got that lovely reverse which is kind of soft so that's really good so you can turn that and the other thing you can do is when you stitch something like this because it won't fray it's a jersey you can actually stitch the seams on the outside so that down the seam line what you'll have is like a little strip of this and then you stitch them down so you sort of put the wrong sides together press open the seams and then stitch close to the edges and you'll have like a trim virtually down all the seams so that can look really good that looks it is quite a fashionable thing to do um, and what I like with this one as well it, we've got a we've got a sort of a creamy one but I like it with the plain cream I think that look I don't think you'd want two different sparkles together in my opinion but I would do those two together I think they would look really nice and then finally let's look at the ivory one Ivory sparkle. Oh, it's called nude. Oh, nude. Oh, very well. A little bit risque. Called nude. <laughs> well, I've got to say, I'm not that colour. <laughs> I think if you're feeling quite ill, you might be this colour. <laughs> but so this is called, I would call it more like ivory, actually. 
It's lovely. And again, it's got the sparkle in it. So it's a nice soft colour. This, oh yeah, Christmas jump. You could, with this, you could, if you add applique and things on top of that, um, that's a lovely background to add sort of appliques and things on. And what would be quite nice is actually, you, you know how you get t-shirts with like messages on them? You could have, you could cut out um, lettering from some of the other ones and then you could have a like, nice little message going on there. You could have a nice birthday cake. So it could be a birthday jumper. So <laughs> back to the thought of cake. <laughs> I'll be eating a cake in the next hour because I'll be passing over to Jane and then while she's talking to you, I shall be having a sneaky eat. <laughs> now, don't forget the early bird, which is the mug, which is brand new into us. And it's just a fun mug. It's a, fun, it's a nice, solid, chunky mug. Scissors for handles. It's £9.99 as a special price and it keeps your coffee nice and warm. Yeah, so we, are, we do know that a lot of people have put it in their basket and are waiting to sort of get to the £50. Um, and that's fine. That's a good idea. The only thing I have to just warn you that we have got a limited amount of these could happen. I'm not saying it will. I'm not trying to frighten you down. But it could happen that we end up with more in the baskets than we have. So just bear that in mind if you really... I mean, I'm sure it'll come back another time. So, but... We obviously don't know when it will, so um, that's just a warning. I'm not trying to hurry you into putting things in your basket or anything. So we're going to go for a break in a minute, and then we are going to come back with Jane Greenoff with the eye stitch, which is amazing. And she also has some amazing kits um, and cross-stitch kits. Now, I mean, basically, as I said earlier, if you saw me earlier in the show, I've known Jane for probably 30 years. She is Mrs. Cross Stitch. She, she is the person that actually started the Cross Stitch Guild. She's, she's what people have learned from. And of course, there's lots of people that do Cross Stitch now, but there's no one better than Jane. And she keeps threatening to retire, but I don't know that she ever will because she is, she is uh, in demand and she's a lovely, lovely lady. So you will see her in three minutes time when we're back with our next show. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. 
Sewing Street will be live every day from 8am, bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hi, welcome back to Sewing Street with Jane Grenfield. Now, this is one of my old friend, oh, sorry, friend, long, long time friend, as opposed to old friend. We feel like, sorry, we're a little bit later coming back, but we've got this lovely eye stitch, and we wanted to make sure that we can show this properly. And, and we also have to sterilise the studio in between guests. So, you know, that's why we have to take a little bit longer. But don't forget, we've still got this amazing deal. So if you spend more than £50 or £50, you can claim your £10 discount just the once for the day, though. And the code is WENDY. Nice and easy. So do build up your basket if you want to. But we are going to crack on because we've got a lot to show with these beautiful designs. But we're going to start with this amazing, this is the first time we've seen this, Jane, isn't it? It's eye yes. stitch. Yes. We're going to start with this eye stitch CD ROM. ROM. Yes. Right, I'm going to go straight over to Jane <laughs> to explain it all. Go on, Jane. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. It's lovely to be back again. Um, it's a CD-ROM and it's that because there's so much on it, it wouldn't go on an ordinary DVD. So it's a CD-ROM and it doesn't go in your television, it goes in a PC. So it doesn't work in, an, in a Mac unless you've got special extra bits and pieces. So it's in a PC and it's um, an extraordinary thing because um, when you get a chance to see, this is me here now, this is the screen. So when you've put your CD into your computer or into a, um, a, a separate CD little reader. Hard drive. Yeah, that's yeah, what I've got. One, yeah. yeah, separate one. Uh, this is what it'll look like, and um, so you've got all that squared paper, and you've got all sorts of stuff going on, and it all looks a bit, frankly, scary. But it's the most amazing thing. I I sit at my machine at home from as soon as I can get there in the morning until I have to cook something at seven in the evening and then sadly I'm back there again at eight, <laughs> as my husband will tell you, um, because it's the best computer game in the history of the world. Right, so this is what it looks like when you get it and there's a few tricks I'm just going to tell you. Now if, when I start, the first thing I do, let me get my mouse organised, you can see I'm not very technical, if that helps you, hang on, bear with me, there it is, I've got it. I'm going to no, press. Does it, it doesn't matter what computer, as long as it's a PC. As long as it's a PC. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to the setup wizard first, 
which is just a very simple thing you do just the once and it's about the symbol weight well I've got it on number one next uh, this is where it's going to be stored next oh this one couldn't find its path but I'll leave that to sort itself out in a minute uh, and then we go on to next I use Madeira stranded cotton so I'm just going to change that now so now that's the key that I'll get and then you've got a choice haven't you, you yes said. I'm going to show you the the um the shade cards in a second uh, and then here we are so now let's get back in again so we can actually see some squares so I'll just quickly show you the shade card so if I go to a palette look at that now there you are if you're a stitcher or you like to use beads or even canvas work do do tapestries you've got complete shade cards of Madeira DMC anchor paterna um, tapestry wool um, you've got um, Appleton's Krynik so um, all, all of the well-known yes. brands you've and got you, their shade cards yeah, it's extraordinary and if I just click on that look you've got all the colors so now in fact when I'm doing it I sadly know the numbers of the colours. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know what colour my car is. <laughs> um, I used to do on Pantone colours because yes. I used to do with printing. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You get to know. So if I want to go and pick my colour, I'll go to the palette and I'll do a right click and I can put the number in that I want rather than go and choose the colour. Yes, but you can choose the colour. But you can choose the colours. And all right. normally, if you wanted to have that whole colour range card, what would that cost? Well, I think the Madeira one's £15, but they've stopped making the ones with the real thread on. So you would just recently, get... Recently, yes. you get a printed one. I've only recently heard that. And, and the reason that you're... Both of us, and you particularly excited yeah. about the fact you've got these colour code cards on yes. there, is because when you, I'm, I'm jumping ahead, but yeah. when you design something, yes. it tells you what colour threads you Absolutely. need. Absolutely. That's I, it. You're going to you see haven't in got a to work that out. No, no, no. I'm going to show you in a yeah. second. I, sorry, I had to jump ahead there because no, I thought right. that was Don't so worry. exciting. I, I, really I get did. carried away because I just love it. You know, I just play with it for hours. <laughs> now, I do make one change to mine when I get it, when I load it. I'm going to clear the palette. So I'm going up to palette. And I'm going to clear it and then I'm going to go into this first little black space at the bottom there now the reason I do that is I don't want to see what the designer of the software thought were nice color combinations I want to see what I want so I will add my colors by going like so let me just do it randomly really quickly I'm aware that time is of the essence today so it's a bit of a rush job as you might say well, let's just say I want that blue and close so I've double clicked and that blue is now in that box at the bottom. Can you see that? Yes. So if I go up here, I'm going to grab a cake and let's just see and choose a cross stitch. They're blue. Just like that. So you draw in the colour that you've chosen. Yeah. So I've just drawn in the colour I've chosen. Now let me do a quick random thing here. Now I'm going to draw a little box. Oh, fish. Bear with me because this mouse is being lively. Come back to me. Come on, you brute. Right, I'm, no, gonna, I'm not on camera. I'm going to put it in the centre. And I'm going to find my little bit of scribble. There's my <laughs> scribble. So what I can do now is if I want to, I can draw a box around it. I can move it. I can flip it back in the other direction. Hello, are you in there? Yeah, it's flip there. back, turn it upside down. And so on. So someone said to me, what do you do now you've got the computer? How do you use your time? And I, after I'd hit the person, obviously, um, <laughs> I said that now when I'm designing something, um, for instance, a bunch of grapes, in the old days pre-computer, I'd have to trace those to make a border, say. Yes. So I've got my bunch of grapes that I've drawn, a complicated bunch of grapes, which I now have to copy 25 times yeah. to go around the border. Now I can design the one bunch of grapes and they cut and paste. So I spend more time on the detail. So although I still spend the same amount of time doing it, 
does that make sense? Yes, you know, it does. I think the other thing... Repetition is taken away. The other thing I, I like about this is because obviously, you, you know, you're a designer, you design this, you can do the shading and the colour yes. of it. Yes. But the other thing you said you can do is if you've got a scanner, you could scan in a photograph and, and that will automatically... I'll show you. Yes. And I, I just you think, you I mean, know, I think for somebody staggering. who's not a, a cross-stitch designer, yeah. Yeah. this then still interests me. I think it's great for all sorts of levels. Absolutely. Well, if I go down here, I'm going to go to image importing now there is an image wizard so if you, the first time you do this you use the wizard to show you your way around uh, I'm going to open a file now I'm going to look in my desktop now I've saved some plants here let's take the blue pansy I haven't done this before this one so this will be interesting there you are that's already a chart instantly it's also enormous it's, it, you know it's actually like that <laughs> so when you get your picture in like so now I might want just one of those pansies but I, I'm importing the whole thing now I'm going up here and I'm going to say let's say uh, randomly I want um, just 50 stitches so it's kept the stitches and it's kept the proportion and I want well, let's randomly say, what should we say, 19 colours. Okay, import. There it is. So that's ready to... to that's so, stitchable. So you can then, can you print that then? Yes. And then you can copy it. Now you can, let me get in closer again just to show you. Um, there is a very clever thing on here which I haven't got open at the moment and that's this chap here. And this tells me where I am in space, if I want it, yes. but I don't need it. It also, there's another clever thing on here, which tells me the colour that's in use, um, the stitch sizes, the, the amount of colours, the fact that it's on 14 count, but I don't need those at the moment, so I'm not going to have them cluttering up my space. Let me lose you. Right, go away. But it's really useful information to know when you're exactly. purchasing what you need to make it. Yes. Now, if I go to my shopping basket, this is what I think is so extraordinary. There it is. You can print this. I can change it to 18 count or 14 count, whatever I want to work on. And here is my... It actually gives you 8 metre skeins. Now, in fact, Madeira are 10. So it's a safety, you know, DMC and Anchor all eight metres. Right. But Madeira have ten in their spiral packs. Yeah. So here it's telling me that it's used these colours. Um, it uses one, no, the most it uses in the whole thing would be one and a third strands. Now my strands are 80 centimetres long. So one and a third will do. And the other thing that you can then do is go to the chart chart and symbols so where you've got something that is let me just get in nice and slow I have to tell you that I work on a screen that big yes. at home. so this is a bit challenging <laughs> it is, it is okay. isn't it so here you are there's the chart again look and it's actually got the symbols and the colors so you can have color color symbols or black and white yeah now when we know from experience that stitchers generally prefer black and white charts oh, really? to work from not to look at to work from the cross stitch guild actually puts both in the kits specifically because if you want to color in where you've been on a complicated project with a highlighter pen or something it's easier, uh, you, it's easier to do it also just color if you imagine looking at this there'll be some very similar colours and it's, that's only as good as your printer. So if you've got a, uh, um, one of the wet, what I call a wet printer, not a laser, the other sort, inkjet, yes. then, you know, some of them will blend the colours a yes. bit. If the symbol's there, you know it's the dark blue and the light blue and so yes. on. Yes, now, makes that clearer. If I just bin that for a second and just take a new page. Now, the other thing you've got in mind, I'll just make my key colour blocks again and go here I'm going to go to open instant design whoops instant design 
So this is where I filled it with stuff for you to have a go at. Ideas for cards and samplers. Well, there you are. There's a good example. This, this is quite a good one. So this is on the disc. So you've it's, got it's some ready-made ready ready. designs of people want. What I've done there is I've just put a name in, random, so that that pattern is still in the when I want it again another time. Mm. But there's something I want to so show you're you. You're effectively saving as, so you've exactly. got two versions. Exactly, and I'm just yeah. doing it quickly. So let's just go a little bit further away. Now look at that, there's some balloons. All right, now this is just extraordinary. <laughs> I, and I mean, I suppose I should be used to it by now, really. Uh, bear with me, I just want to get, whoops, I want to get further away, nearer, I mean. I'm just going to show you something, right? And let's just see if I get it right first time. No, I didn't. Bear with me. I've got to find it. There it is. Now, if I move down the screen... So you see, if I can operate this, you can. <laughs> Trust me. That's I mean, what I always say. <laughs> right, I'm just going to yeah. show you. Come on, you brute. Hmm. We're going to see something change. I've got to do something. What have I got to do? I've got to change that. Oh, fish. I've just turned it off. Bear with me, everybody. <laughs> what I want to show you, I'll, I'll just show you on this plain sheet. There, we don't need that. Um, we don't need that. That's better. Now I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go over here with a cross stitch. And I'm going to choose letters. Come on. I know you're in there. So you've got letters as well as some... How many designs did you say you've put in there? There's 2,000. 2,000. They're already there. So if you... If, if, I mean, that is amazing in itself. And this is only 29.99. This you is going to give can you write on your, so much pleasure. You can write on your charts instructions. So you can add detail so you remember what you're doing. So when I finished a design, I tend to use black as my backstitch uh, for everything, and then I annotate. Now, obviously, you've got coloured backstitch on here, so if you're doing a project and you want to add backstitch, you can use the actual colour. I find that sometimes, again, it depends on your printer. Yes. And if I'm sending a piece of stitching off to a stitcher, they need to know what's going on, because they haven't got a picture to look at. You know, they're starting from scratch. Yes, they're, they're they haven't creating got a thing. that first one. They're creating yes. the first one. So my backstitch is always black, and then I'll have little arrows, and I'll type in next the colour there to use, if that makes any sense at all. Now I'm sure it makes a lot end. of sense to people that cross-stitch, so I wouldn't worry about that. So I'm going to clear the palette again. Now, with the palette... I, th um, I think that the thing about this I like is it's, it's great for beginners too, isn't it? Yes. Because Absolutely. you've got the designs already there. There's masses of designs in there for you to play with. And then once you've had a go with those, you can start fiddling around and yes. create. Oh, and as you're saying, you can actually alter your designs because if you've saved as, you haven't altered the original. Exactly. And you can take little bits. Um, in addition, you've got Jane's Extras here. There's a stitch library. Now look at this. That's any number of books where so you can, you know... It's so all when in you've there. got, I can't, I can't oh, you, see you it can't see. here, but um, <laughs> is it like lots of different stitches? Yeah, there you are. There's back stitch. Let's do a more complicated. Diamond hem stitch. There you are. You've got stitch diagrams. Quite extraordinary. So that's if you wanted to actually use some of the different yes, embroidery some of the different stitches, things. not just cross stitch. Yes, and if you're, um, suppose you wanted to do, let's just find something, away, way, starting with an away waist knot. If you've read that in your instruction, you're not sure what it is. Or if you've got to do cushion stitch and you've never seen it before. They're all in here. Now, if the CD is actually inside your machine, there's also a stack of videos of my hands showing you how to do the stitches. So you can, to, to recap really, I mean, this is something, I've done a 40 minute video on this and I still didn't cover everything. No, of course. I say to people when they get it, Remember that when I got my cross-stitch pattern 27 years ago, same guy designed it. I bought a 486 computer, a black and white printer, a colour printer, a word processing program and his cross-stitch program. And my bill was £5,000 and tuppence. I still have the receipt. 
it makes me smile because you would struggle to spend that now. <laughs> you really would. As we said earlier, even on a top Mac, you'd struggle you know, to spend that. My little iPhone that I, I don't know, there are lots of other phones out there, sorry. <laughs> my little phone has got more in it yes, than my, I know, all that I know. technology. Well, and my, now, my first computer yes. was the good old, you know, the big green yes, screen. Yes. And it was, it was an Amstrad. Yes. Of course it was. That was my first computer. When I was first editing magazines, it was on a typewriter. Yes. We did everything Imagine. on a typewriter. We didn't have computers. So, so this, we, this we is really just old. an extraordinary <laughs> phenomena. You, but the, you, the good thing about this, so even if you're not thinking about designing your own cross stitch, it would still be a useful library. Absolutely. Um, and also, if you have any of these kits that we've also got, and there's some stitches on any of the kits that you're not quite sure how to do, you can go you've in got, here and have a look Jane as well. You've got Jane on your laptop. You, you, I'm here talking to you. Jane the genie. <laughs> Jane genie. <laughs> you can just get her to um, come on out. There's so many different things the machine will do as well. Obviously, you can mirror things. You can centre it. Um, you can flip them vertically, uh, horizontally. Um, you can get the design in the centre of the piece of fabric. This chart is blank, so it won't let me do it. Um, if you're doing hard or embroidery, you can actually do this clever thing where you can make a box and you can blank out the blank out the space where your holes are going to be. Yes. So you can see what the design's going to look like. What it's going like. to look like when it's done. It, I say to people when they look at me a bit blankly, there's two things that I would say about it really. One is the manual is in the computer. Right. There isn't a book one. There isn't a book to go. That's often so the way panic. we computerise These things. days, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've bought an extremely costly piece of um, nonsense this week. And there, it's, it's, a, it's a tablet with a keyboard and a pencil for me to be able to scribble. Yeah. And it had three pieces of A6 paper. And that was it. Mm. With an address for where to go to to get the rest of the thing. So... The manual is here, there's a help menu which is extremely good and I maintain if you can ask it the right question it will tell you how to do it. Yes. And I, well, you, all the things we're going to see now and again at 11 have been designed using this programme. So what can I tell you? Yeah. You know, it's so how you, I've been, it, it does yeah. what it says on the tin. It does exactly what it says on the tin. And the fact, oh, we've got a question from Sheila. Oh, hi Sheila. Yeah, yeah. So can so I asked you earlier? Can you put a family photo? Yes. So scan it in and then do it as cross stitch. Yes. Yeah. That's yes, what I you said. Can. Sheila, yes, I said the can. same thing. I thought, what a lovely idea. The numbers of Cats, people. Dogs, well, pets. we've got one lady um, who has been doing had an eye stitch when she had eye stitch one actually, and she designed a Star Trek play. Uh, what do you call it? The big round thing that was in Star Trek. Oh, the, yeah, the, the, the ship. The doing, the ship. Yes. The ship. En Enterprise, yes. <laughs> she did a ship, Star Trek ship for her son, was so pleased with it, she scanned in a picture of their mansion, and she did that, and then she's done her daughter's wedding. Now, yeah. when you're scanning in, there's a couple of things to bear in mind. For your own use, of course, you can scan in anything you like. Uh, there are copyright laws. Yes. And one has to be a bit cautious, you know, helping yourself to a really nice birthday card in Smith's or some similar establishment uh, and then scanning it and doing you, it you as charity sales. For your own copyright. use, no one's going to know, frankly. Um, but if you're, if you're intending to give them away or sell them for charity, be, you careful, be careful where your Absolutely, original yeah. stuff comes but from. But your own, your own photographs, so if you've got of course, beautiful photos. I mean, my, my sister Karen uh, is an amazing gardener as well as actually an artist. She, uh, her, anyway, mm. beautiful, beautiful artist. But you could take some photos of flowers, uh, flowers and it. then cross-stitch yes. them. I'm sure she'd actually be, because she's multi -craft. Well, those, those little pansies were pictures I took at Monet's garden. Yeah. So I just, and, and but again, I love the just idea. one what of them. A, what a lovely wedding gift. A present. To and, have a cross-stitch yes. design. Or your children, or your pets. I mean, some people love dogs. Yes, I, can knows? I make a proviso here? <laughs> um, the majority of people who stitch still, I think, are women. The majority. Um, and they often want to do something while the potatoes are boiling. Yes. <laughs> rather than sit down and give themselves an afternoon off. So if you're going to scan in your white dog in a snowy field, yeah, please warned. bear things in mind, <laughs> all right? First thing is a good photograph. Secondly, uh, 
you want it scanned to D a DPI 300. So if you understand that a scan sees everything, and if you scanned me, I'd probably have purple teeth because of ultraviolet and all sorts yes, of things that yeah. interfere. So the scan 300 is plenty if you're going to scan it in. Yeah, because that will reduce the number of colours. The number of so because DPI yes. is dots per inch. And if you remember that you know, a printed photograph might be 1,200 dots to the inch and you're going to put it on 14 count, which is 14 to the inch. So you want to just get the balance yes. right. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to have something eight feet wide. Yes. So when but you import it, you look at how many stitches you want, so how big you want your finished piece, yeah. what you're going to work it on. And it, and it does all that computation and it does the for comp you. Yes. That's what I think is so amazing. And you can see what it's going to look like because it shows you the visual. Absolutely. So you can, if you look at it and you think, no, that's gone too I, blurry. I because, change it. Yeah, yes. You can go to a higher count. Exactly. To have what more What I stitches. tend to do is if I scan something in to demonstrate, I would save it as AA and then do another one with more colours and save it as BB. Ditto, ditto, ditto. Yes. So you're keeping the best one each time. Yes. Yes. Remember that once you've introduced it into your machine, it's now a cross stitch. So it's editable. So you, you, you rarely get something that pops out and it's exactly what you want. You might want to look at mm. it and think, I don't want the tarmac drive like that because there's a lot of black. Um, but once you've actually got it into the machine, it is it is there for you. It's your thing yeah, now. It's your palette. It's your pa and you can change the colours. You can um, vary them slightly. Uh, there is no backstitch on the scanned ones, so you might want to, for instance, those pansies. I would probably add a backstitch uh, line to show some of the petals. Yeah, to show some, some detail. more detail about yes, them. Yes, or, or add some little little sort of rays at the bottom that come out of the centre of a pansy. I might add those. I mean, I think it's absolutely extraordinary. Um, it, it, it sound, I think it really sounds incredible. It's the first time we've had it on. Twenty nine ninety nine. And don't forget, if you add this to your basket along with some other kits or fabrics or the mug or whatever, build up your £50, you're then going to get £10 off your total. It's today only, so that's, um, that's a birthday, me, birthday treat for you. My birthday treat. So, uh, definitely. Okay, so... Right, so we've had a few questions. Yes, um, I think happy. one you've answered already. Does okay. it work on an Apple Mac? No. No. Uh, now, I'm going to just say something here. I have an Apple Mac and I have something called Parallel Desktop, which means I can run a virtual PC. It does work. It is not as, um, what's the word I'm looking for here, as not reliable, but it's there's more opportunities for it to be unstable right. when you're pretending your Apple Mac is a, is PC. a PC. Yeah. So I, I have a PC as well, obviously, yes. um, for every day. Um, so you need a PC. Windows, uh, uh, Windows 10 is fine. Yeah. Um, it does say on the back here, it does actually, say, what it's yes. suitable for. Because we've just changed the printing because Windows 10 came out and it's fine. Yes, because I've got Windows 10. So operating systems, Windows 2000, XP, Vista 7, 8 and 10. There you are. So that's a pretty um, good range, isn't speed it? Speed Pentium 100 or better. Hard drive space, 10 megabytes. Memory, 100 megabytes. And your graphics, it's got that on there as well. And with the video content, you need the CD in the machine. That's the only thing or attached to it. Yes. Because the video take masses, well, you know, yes. masses and masses of room. So if you want to watch the videos, you need to pop your CD back in. They're on the machine. They're not on the machine itself. Yeah, OK. okay. But everything else comes in the, in the pack. You can change the... One of the things I didn't mention was all these toolbars along the top here, all of these are completely changeable. So if I go here, I've got a rubber, um, I've got a lasso. Now that's if you wanted to grab something that's a, a pansy, say, funny shape, and you don't want to put a box around it because you're going to interfere with other things, you can lasso it, you can go round it roughly and pull it out. So you can take so your it, one flower it's a, out. It's like using Photoshop, it must isn't be, it, really? Say, it's a very exactly, similar exactly. idea, yes. You've got full cross stitch, You've got fractional stitches. Uh, you, on this one, we've actually got um, offset stitches. So if I was doing a church steeple and I got up to two at the top, two stitches, I can put one in the middle. So you've got fractional stitches, French knots. 
Um, there's a section with special stitches. So this is where you add your own. I'm just loading what's actually in the program at the moment. And I'm not actually certain what's there. On my machine, I've created stitches. So an Algerian eye, I've drawn in the, it's being a bit slow. I don't think I need the what's it in there to do this. Um, but the, um, there we are, there we are, it has worked. So there we are, Al there's a double cross stitch there, Algerian eye, um, a box vertical cross stitch. They're worked out on this grid that means you can work them out to fit the numbers of squares on your graph paper. Because an Algerian eye stitch, for instance, takes four squares. So it's four times the size of a cross stitch. So you have to be able to learn how to design it so that it does that. Yes. Does that make sense? It does. This is something you come to. You don't do this on day one this is, while this the potatoes are the, boiling. This yeah. isn't the, for the beginner. This is what you... And this is the other thing. So it's perfect for beginners because you can just go in there, use one of you Jane's can, designs, yes. then start progressing. But it's also great for designers and people that have gone want beyond the beginner further. level, want to take it further. Want to take it further. You can start being your own designer. I think that's a fabulous idea. I mean, idea. I think it's... Yes. I mean, to start when it first came out, this is going to sound mean and it isn't meant to be, when it first came out, I went into one of my favourite shops, which is no longer there. He's retired. And he said, if someone else comes in here and tells me they're a designer because they bought your programme, I'm going <laughs> to hit them or something. Because he had had some horrendous offerings, I think. Um, and someone else sort of said to me, it must be wonderful. You press a button and the designs come out. And I've actually got a cartoon on my kitchen wall that was drawn for me when I had my magazine. And there's a picture of me with a glass of wine. And there's beautiful patterns spewing out of the computer. <laughs> this is instead of a pen. Yes. But... Um, in one of the Cross Stitch Google magazines, two goes ago, I think, I showed how to make yourself a pattern using a seed packet and, and yeah. a piece of paper and the double glazing. Yeah. You know, I had the seed packet, I stuck a piece of paper over the top, I made the simplest drawing and then showed so her... That, to... That's when the light box would have come in handy. Exactly. I have it? one. Yes. I have a smaller one than yes. yours. I've got a... Yes, I mine's knew, a little one. I knew you one. would have. Because they are so useful, yes. they're so useful for all sorts of things. So Absolutely. Yes. yes, so, I mean, and it, it was quite difficult last night because I was telling myself I had to be in bed at nine o'clock. <laughs> uh, I was playing with my machine, trying to make a list of things to tell you. And I had found an illustration of a little tiny needle book done in 1655, covered in pansies. And I don't know how I didn't stay and draw it. I don't know how I went to bed. I genuinely don't. Discipline. It's, it's sat there next to my computer. It's my treat this afternoon because it's so pretty. Yes. Uh, I think I think that's the idea. That uh, I like the idea that you can grow with it because I think that's yes. always the thing. You yes. don't want to buy something that you can actually do just like that. You no. need to be able to grow with it. Absolutely. But I do like the fact that as a beginner, um, it's certainly a, it's with very cross I've done cross stitch designs, but I am not a cross stitcher. So for me, the fact it's so accessible for even somebody Just, who's a beginner yes. or you know has done a few, and and as you say, it doesn't it doesn't make you a designer any more than if you have a fully fitted kitchen, you're suddenly a chef. No, no, it, exactly. You know, you still have to have that ability. But you get you the still hang have of it. to learn, but it does help. Yes, you it get really the hang does of it. Help, yes, and and the fact you can scan things in. Um, there are lots of patterns in there. There are there is a motif library as well. Now let's just really quickly see if and, I can get it. And you have got Jane Genie. There, look, in it is the computer. Here. So da da da. There you are. Randomly. Oh, look at those. These are these are some patterns that are there. As I said, there are two thousand of them. So let's, oh, this is one of my favourites. This little. Let me put him in, and I'll show you what I mean. Now this I charted. Mm, how many years ago? I'm not going to say, actually. I don't think I'm going it's to say. It's a little hair. Oh! It's a running hair. And it came off a, a French tapestry. I took a picture of a French tapestry somewhere. And I love him. Now, he's quite dark there. So I would almost certainly, just really random. I know time is a, a problem. Let's give him a light, lighter tummy. I mean, it's so easy. It is. It's incredible, isn't it? And that's now your hair. Yes. So you save him in your designs as my hair or whatever. Um, we could give him, what should we give him? Uh, we need to give him a little black tip to his ears because hairs have black tips to their ears. 
and, and, then, it, it, and when you and when you come to print it out, yes, you can you print can it print in colour or black and white, or black and white, and, and it will tell you what threads to buy. Yeah, let's go to the, to the little them. shopping list. Look, there's my basket. Anybody in? Yes, here we are. So it tells you that it's 26 by 22 squares. If it's on 16 Ada, it's going to be 1.6 by 1.4 inches. Tiny. Okay. Tiny weeny. Um, if I put it on 14 now, remember if you're working with linen, and we're going to talk about that in a minute, and you you use two strands of thread and you cross two threads of the fabric, 14 Ada is the same as 28 linen. Right. So I'll go through this again yes, in a minute when yes. we're talking about this, the kits. And this, this interesting, Lee's picked an anchor colour, can't remember why, and it's picked those Madeira colours, and it's told me the six stitches. Now, I look down these lists when I've designed a new project, because I'll be designing with no care to the cost of producing the product at the end. And I'll notice that there's one stitch used three or four times. And I'll think of the poor girls at the Cross Stitch Guild making these up on the cards. Do we need that one? Yes. You know, so you can check what's going on yes. a bit. You can it's also, also if you've got plenty of threads at home, but it's when but you, you have think, to buy a whole it, skein for one Because there's or one, and stitches. is it really yes. necessary? The other thing it'll do is it'll tell you if you need more than a skein. Now, it's rarely relevant, but some, for instance, the Christmas Reds, both in Anchor and in DMC, They've had problems with rules changing and dyeing, and some of those colours are less stable. So you might get a slightly different colour when you go to buy the second skein. Right. So, you so if need it tells to know you you advance, need to, yeah, then yeah. you go and you make buy sure you've got enough. Time. Just like when you're buying wool, yeah, absolutely. You buy from the same batch. Yes, yeah. it might be shade chart. So you've got. All, so if you never design anything on this machine, but just use play with my patterns, and do an animal sampler. Do some letters for your, you know, a door for a child with a name and, and a rabbit. You know, you can pick them all from my yes, work. There's to be none at all. And you've got the videos if you want and to have some And the videos, as I said, for to extra tuition, but you do need the CD for that. Yes. Is that enough about it, you lot? Because otherwise well, we'll be just, here we'll an hour and a half. Well, we have got another question. We? What's oh, the question? No. Oh, are there different fonts for the letters? Uh, yes, there are. Now let me just go and pick a, bear with me. Ah, oh, now to, you change the fonts for the letters going up here, stitching. So a third of the there stock is already gone, oh. by the way. Everybody. Select chart text font, there you are. So I choose that and it'll give you the choice of the fonts on your machine. Oh, right. So I'm going to, um, I have Garamond. Uh, and I usually have it bold. This is for any annotations I want to make. Yes. And if, it, what about if you wanted to put the message in? I like, I can't remember what it's called now, but like, I like one that's kind of like a bit curly, like it's handwriting. That yes, sort of yes. Thing. You've got Bradley Hand or yes, something like yes, that. Yes, you can use those. Yeah. Now, if I, I can get this one. That would turn it into a cross Let's stitch. Just, I'm amazed. This one? Ah. Now, this might be quite interesting. Let me just try this. Um, Lucinda handwriting, uh, bold, okay, okay, now then, oh, what's she typing, oh, I can't, I can't see that from here, okay. it says happy birthday, oh, it's not worked very well, let me go a further away, right, so I've typed happy birthday, and it's cross-stitched it for me. Now, obviously, you experiment with that. Depends which typeface you use. Yes. I've used it bold, which is wrong, obviously. So I would use it not bold. Yeah, I'd go but back. that's it. You can look and think, mm, that's a bit too yeah, solid. Yeah, too chunky. I, yeah. So when you've typed something um, to say, I mean, I cross-stitch forever, housework, whenever. I've done that a number of times. <laughs> and, uh, and, and it will automatically write it for you. So you can decide on the size of the type. So for the annotations to your sewing and to your keys, they come out the size they come out. Yeah. Um, you, can, you can alter it slightly by when you come to write something, like the colour key, for instance. That I want um, 403 for this back stitch. 
um, I can have, I can make it cover three squares or two squares. Right. But it's not a, it's not a but point that, size. That's, but that's not perfectly. to be stitched. That is just your information. That, exactly. Yeah. The stitch ones, uh, as I said, you can type. You, and once you've got it in your screen, of course, you can make it any colour you like. Yeah, you can change the colours, you can change the size, you can change the font. My daughter did one for me for Christmas. Not these, some time ago now, she'll kill me for telling you about this. <laughs> you know mothers have phrases they use, don't they? We, we don't think we do, but we do, yes. And yes. mine is, may I make a small suggestion? Oh. <laughs> um, and it's usually too short, too low, too much makeup, not enough makeup, blah, blah, blah. Too late, too early. And I, she did that for me for Christmas. May I make a small suggestion? <laughs> That's really good. Uh, I'd and hate it's to hanging see what up my in my scullery. It is. And I mean, and she just said it was brilliant. She took a while to get the typeface how she wanted yeah. it. And it's in two rows and it's up in my scullery. So isn't that lovely? So you could, as you say, have these little phrases Anything that, that somebody you know, always yeah. says. I mean, or even as it is, one of those sort of sweet little messages, as yes. you say, cross stitch forever, yeah. cleaning whenever. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, all of those things. Yes, well, I think we're going to have to move on, but, but we are. We, we've sold out of uh, a third of the stocks. So we have still got some left. If you do want it, please pop it into the basket and possibly check out. But let's look at some of the kits that we've got to go alongside this. Um, we've got some exclusive kits here, haven't yes, we? Yes, we have. Where we're do you going want to start? To start let's, we're going to start with these ones, the butterfly. Right, which is this. So you, Jane's got the actual finished sample on the desk I'm going to there. move those out of the way. Now, this comes in, so let me move those in so they're centred, that's better. This comes in Ada and in linen. Okay, so we're just going to, sh we're going to show you the finished sample as well. But it, what I like about this as well, so you've got all the details on the front. Obviously, it's designed by Jane, you know, who is Miss Crosstitch. And uh, it's got the size that it comes out at. Um, so you've got the details on there. And I'm going to flip open, oh, flip over the pack. And I'm going to open this carefully because... You won't be able to do it like that, Lass. You need no, those scissors. No, I'm going scissors. to have to use the scissors. I was trying not to. Well, we, we, tease, we, we, we said before on air that we think they might be stuck down with elephant spit. <laughs> oh, no. And this is historic, <laughs> historic actually, because we used to, when we sold direct to the shops, we used to have things stolen from the bags. So they're well stuck down, so you'll need to cut it. Through yeah, I'm try, I was trying to do it really carefully, I know, but I'm going to have to, won't. I'm going to have to do it a little bit more robustly. So this, all this all I want to do, I want to pull out the elements that you've got in yes, this kit yes. because you've got a lot in here. Um, you know, it's, it's basically everything you need, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I, I always liked the idea of one of those boxes with butterflies in, but oh. I couldn't quite bring myself to stick a pin in someone's body. You know, no, I couldn't quite I'm do it. I'm not sure. Um, so you so can you've see. got you've got the flosses you need, yes. and they're all colour coded. And they're pre-sorted so that you can and see which is which. And pre-sorted so you can see which is which. You've got um, a beading needle and some beads in here because this has obviously the, got some beading the, on it. This is for and the pins in their tummies. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and we have another needle with a large eye. So that will be when you use more strands for the, for together. The yep. Now this one I've opened is the Ada pack. Yes. Um, and this has, this, you can see the detail on here. And again, you can on see the all the colours. Beautiful charts. So this is the sort of chart you can produce with iStitch. And, and you did produce this on iStitch. What can I say to you? So this is this was produced on iStitch. This is the sort of thing you can do. And all the detail here. So it's not only have you got the colours, but you've got the little symbols as well. Yes. And you, because, as Jane says, a lot of cross-stitchers would prefer to work on black and white, you can have both to hand. So this means that you can, as you say, as you're doing it, you could actually just kind of like day go A lot of people would use highlight pens, don't they? Just to keep an eye on where they are. Yes. Um, and again, you've got the, the symbols down the side to show mm, which mm. colour is which and what it's seed pearls and half a cross stitch. So all your detail is there and you can just crack on. Oh, and, and instructions. There you are. So these are the instructions and then some diagrams on your stitch. So everything you need. Now, would you say this is for somebody maybe intermediate, somebody who's already cross-stitched, or no, can I, beginners have a go? I think in, um, this, there's no reason why somebody who hasn't stitched before couldn't do this. I'd probably suggest using the Ada version rather than the linen, um, because with it, it doesn't come out any 
bigger. It doesn't look cl clumpy. It's not an English word, is it? But do you know what I mean about if you think the age is for beginners, is it going to look childlike? It's not. Yes. It's going to be exact. This one's on linen. And it's going to be exactly the same size because on this one, whoops, it's got a whisker. On this one, um, you're going to work over two fabric threads and it's 28 count fabric. And the AD you're going to work over one box. So they're the same size. Yes. And that applies across the board. So this, the stitch size is the same. The stitch size it's is the, the but, same. It's but not when you work finer. on linen... Yes. You have to count those threads, count whereas the on, threads. The, on the Ada, of course, it's much more obvious, isn't yes. it, because of the construction That's of the fabric. Right. When they're woven, the, the Ada, there's four pieces going in one direction and four going in the other direction, whereas obviously with linen, it's one. Yes. So um, if you get stuck and you're a little bothered about it, if you go to the Cross Stitch Kill website and just look at Cross Stitch Basics, there, there is herself talking to you about the charts and the fabrics and how to work on linen. So feel free to go and it's all free. Yes. You know, yeah. just free to free to view and diagrams as well. So it's really, I learned on linen. I didn't know about Ada 32 years ago. <laughs> um, I didn't know. Uh, actually, it's more than that now. I know. I can say oh, we've Lord. known each other for 30 years. So. OK, so yes, my son's 40 this year and he was two when I started. So work it out for yourselves. <laughs> But, but I was shown how to do it by somebody um, sitting on the floor with my little boy in his sleepy suit and got hooked, absolutely hooked, and didn't know there was any other fabric. So I don't find linen an issue. Um, and in fact, I, I see things in squares. Yes. Which, of course, is a bit worrying, really. Um, <laughs> As you say, with your dress. Yes, <laughs> yes everything's squares. <laughs> So, so, but that's my choice. I mean, the age of fabric is also very, very useful if you're working tartan, gingham, checks, geometric patterns, because the squares are really square. On linen, there is a bit of variation, mm. which makes it look more traditional. Um, but if you're working dog tooth check, for instance, you probably want the Ada. Yes. Yeah. So that's so, the, yeah. my so, little so collection of butterflies. So that's actually, I was going to come on to that, you know, what's the dif difference between linen and Ada? So you've actually answered that. These are all exclusive to us, yes. aren't they? So, and this is the first time. So this is seventeen ninety nine for this complete kit. Yes. Obviously you don't get the frame. That's no, up to no you frame. to frame. Yeah. Um, if I mention that there are three establishments in the high street that are very large, um, I'm trying to think of where I'm putting this without mentioning names. Um, they're open at the moment. That might give you a clue. Uh, they must sell essential things like frames. Um, and they're very reasonably priced. So you can go and hunt them. the range. Oh, I was going to say, I'm trying to think, who's open at the moment? And I don't know why they're open. No, I think, I oh, they do sell food. They do sell food. They have uh, Iceland in there now. I, 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 yes, I'm, I won't, we won't go into that Best because it, I think it's very unfair that some shops are and some shops aren't. And Anyway. Um, we also have another. So we've got, we've got this lovely set in linen and in Ada. So I'm just going to pop that to one side. And now the there other we thing we have are the... Oh, turn them up the right way. So again, we've got the same in linen and in Ada. The, these are... I mean, I don't want to call them pin cushions because they're we, too beautiful to stick pins, pins in. They're boxed pin cushions. So you work them in one piece and then it's how you fold them. Now, you, these can be pin cushions or, or paperweights. Um, I like um, I putting... I paperweights, actually. Well, put dry rice in. Yes. I did have an email from someone last week asking me how you dry the rice. And I can only assume the poor thing's only ever bought it in a packet that's already squishy. Ah, oh, yeah. Raw oh, yeah. rice. I was going to say the name brand. Won't be yes. Yeah, the one that you put in the microwave for two minutes. Exactly. So very I useful, was assuming. Actually, for very yes, rice. absolutely. So these have got a little but butterfly on the base. And they've got butterflies around the edge. And you make that in one piece. You make it in one let piece. Me, let me open, can yes, I open so one of these do, again. Do, do the same job with the scissors, girl. Am I going, no, I'm going to have to. I don't like cutting. I know you don't. I am, I am so... I didn't realise I've got so much OCD. <laughs> like everything has to go back really perfectly. So we've got three colourways of this, which... Um, the, one, the one we're showing at the main moment is called Painted Lady. Here we are. That's the one I'm opening here. Yeah, there she is. So again, this is your pack. So look at this. You've got all of the 
floss you need. You have the need. I like the fact that you put the needle in. Because yeah. yeah. needles do blunt. Yes, no, no, no. And Absolutely. also, this has got the nice big eye, yes. which is easier to thread through. So I've opened the linen one, so you've got your little linen piece. And then... There you see the piece. Here, That's how this you is how you do it. it. Yeah. So you do it as one piece, and then you'll fold the sides up and, and stitch them together. To and it tells you how to do that. And this is obviously the back. So this is nine ninety nine. So you get the chart. So this, you know, you're, you're getting the, the design, the piece, the chart, the threads, the yarn, the needle. So this is the first time you've bought from the Cross Stitch Guild. This is a really good way to start. Although I would, I would absolutely, totally encourage you to get the eye stitch as well because I really think, even for a beginner, I'm what I'm thinking is I like the fact that you've got the stitch. Uh, diagrams yes. and how to do all the different stitches because yes. yes. cross stitches across yes. okay that's easy but what about when you do half cross stitch what about when you put the French yes. knots in what about when you're doing the hard angle how and things like that yeah, yeah exactly. I think exactly that in itself is worth an awful lot yeah. and the fact that you've got the video tutorials on there as long as you've got your mm. CD Rob in your machine yes um, yeah. we are getting uh, to low stocks on that one so if you are interested in that do bear that in mind you might want to check out so that's the painted lady yeah so we've got all of the other bits and pieces in here oh and you've got this is um so this if you wanted to you could put your yarns yes, in put here the, you? you've got the free phone number on there if there was a crisis the cat right. got threads and you can sort your threads onto the card lots of our kits are already sorted uh, these must be easy to sort out otherwise i would have insisted they were pre-sorted yes. if that makes sense the colors are easy to, to, to yes they're to easy to, to, to do future. yeah and then you can put them how you want them can't you absolutely look at that going well back in there that. so that's that very that was tidy, the linen one you? i am <laughs> <laughs> and this is the uh, unfortunately and i've passed this on to my two sons don't get me wrong they can be messy devils as can i but we are very particular about how things have got to be perfectly in the right order in the right shape and things uh, so, if we, so it's, it's on uh, Ada as well. So um, let's look at the other colourways. So this one here. Which one have you got next? This one is uh, Peacock Butterfly. That's him. So again, it's available on Ada, and it's a, it's exactly the same. It's got all the same in uh, inside. Yeah. It's got the threads, the needles, the yarn. Obviously, different colourways. Um, and the instructions on not only how to stitch it, but how to put the box yes, together. Yes, I always start off all of the kits with pressure fabric, fold in four, find the centre. We generally start our cross stitch from the middle of the fabric and the middle of the chart. And the reason for that is that although the chart looks a certain size, that doesn't necessarily bear any resemblance to the fabric size. Yeah. It's a bit like if you knitted with Aaron, or you knitted with two ply, the thing would be a different size. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So because the linen is twenty-eight count or it's fourteen ada, um, so we start in the middle, and then it means your design is in the middle of the yes. fabric. Yeah, and it will. I go have had the phone calls from people who didn't, and are running off the end, <laughs> and are trying to work out ways of joining. So we try and avoid that if we can. Yeah. So that's a good tip. Uh, it tells you that in the instructions. It tells you that. So in the, yeah. Always. I mean, and in what I always say with any instructions like this, uh, I say it not necessarily do it, but I have to say it's a good idea to sit down with a cup of coffee and just read, read the instructions through, through yes. before you start, and that way you you know you do start at the right place, place. or when you're dressmaking you do use the right seam allowance yes. because you've yes, read it and absolutely. you know what you're doing. And and everything I think today is where you're going to use two strands of your stranded cotton or floss. Now stranded cotton is actually, it's a mercerized thread and it's six in a chunk. So each length has got six lengths in it. And just remember that when you come to split them, if you've not done it before, golden rule, don't attempt to take two and pull. Because you get a knot about there every time. You just need to get one and pull it straight out. And put it down and take another one I'll show you this at 11 o'clock. I'll show you this next. That's a good tip, day. actually, because I know... Because you can get in a I terrible know I, ha I have done that, and I've pulled out two or three. It, 
I've managed because yes. I do it slowly, but yes. you're right, it's kind of tangles it up on the that. bottom. Because yes. there's a twist in the thread, yes. it's going to do it. So, so I'll show you how to time. align your threads and things. And we'll take something out of an open pack and I'll show you when I'm back at 11. Yes, that would be brilliant. Anyway, and there's the um, last little, little butterfly I'll put in there. So all of these are exclusive and I just want to Ooh, no, very them. quickly show, because it's all exclusive to us, and this is the holly blue one. So this is yes. the third of the three. Again, it's in both the... Ada, sorry, the Ada and the linen. So if you want to do the linen and you've got the pictures, um, that and Jane's got the yep. actual finished version just there, there to see. I must admit, I mean, it, to me, they have a look of like an antique pincushion. Um, but I, I would, I like the idea of pattern weights or yes. weights. Yes. Um, or rice just or decoration. Something. So put rice or lentils in them yes, instead. Yes. Something to give them that weight. Sometimes it's quite a good idea. And I mean, I would put a loop on as well. So my, if it was weighted, I'd have scissors on a loop. If I yeah. slipped a twisted cord in the last side, yes. then it wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't be on the floor all the time. Yes. So they're sweet, they? So really they? nice. So they're beautiful as well. Everything in there. All oh, right, so just to let you know, uh, watching, that the picture on the website for the holly, holly blue on linen, is that the one I've got here? It's wrong. But this is, so this is what it looks like. It looks like we have here on the kit and, um, and Jane's here. got the finished sample. So it is, it is a blue butterfly. And the, and the sort of, actually, I, I like all three because they're all three slightly different, aren't mm, they? Mm. You've got the beautiful butterflies, but then you've also got some like detail around the edges mm, on some mm, of them. Mm. So I like that. I think that's, that's again, they make nice, nice little gifts. Nice they presents. make nice gifts finished as or, a gift and or as a kit. Something to stitch. Yes. It's not hard. It's really not hard to do. And it's small um, enough to, to do in a relatively quick yes, time as yes, well, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yes. I mean, I did them in a couple of days. That is a bit excessive. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have any questions about the eye stitch, please do, uh, or any, any questions for Jane, um, apart from her inside leg measurement. Which I'm not going to We're not going to share. Um, but do, do um, send them in. So it's studio at sewingstreet.com. She'll be back with us at 11 o'clock so we can answer them then, I'm sure, because it's the usual yeah. thing. If you don't know, you can find out for us. But I'm sure, pretty sure yeah. most well, questions you'll know well, the answer to. if I to. don't know, I might know where to find out. Yes, Let's exactly. Like <laughs> yes, <laughs> we'll know where to go. So that's really good. So we are running out of time for this hour. But Jane, as I say, will be back with us at 11 o'clock. Don't forget to check out your basket, particularly if you've got 50, 50 pounds worth in there. Um, if you haven't quite, have a look on the website and see if there's anything else that you can just top it up so that you don't miss buying what you have got in there, which we don't want you to do. Um, and don't forget that I stitch um, CD-ROM, fabulous gift. That's a gift for anybody that's yeah. stitching. Yeah. And I just love the fact that you have got all of those designs on it. So you can just go ahead and use it as it is, or you can start scanning in your own photos and do your own pets, own, your black own cat in a, in a coal cellar. Yes, quite. <laughs> yes, do be sensible about this. <laughs> we are going to come back uh, for the next hour, which is our fabulous fabric hour. So we are going to be looking at an amazing collection. The fabrics in front of me here, um, if there's still some left, there might be one less by the time you get to see it. Um, and we've got some fat quarter bundles and some jelly rolls and lots and lots to look at and choose. So we'll see you in just a few minutes. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. 
Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewers together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Hi, welcome back. This is the third hour of my birthday day. So it's really good. So this is now fabric. What more to love? What more to love? So uh, welcome and I hope you're going to enjoy some of these beautiful fabric bundles I'm going to show you. Uh, don't forget we have that um, special discount. So the special offer is if you spend £50 you get a 10% discount. Uh, sorry, £10 discount and all you have to do to claim it is to put in the word Wendy. That's what you have to do. So that's really good. And don't forget, I also mentioned that you um, will go into a free draw to win that fabulous bag and charm pack and badge. So, oh, I don't get the cakes because they'll probably be gone by then. But you get, you get, I've, I've sneakily eaten two. Um, so, yes, you'll get the bag, you'll get the charm pack and you'll get the little badge if you win. So that's one person from the whole day. It's a little birthday gift. So I put my name in 10 times, no. <laughs> so you have to buy something today and then you're just in that automatically. So somebody will get that. And Oh, and everybody that orders something today gets a signed picture of me. You never know. <laughs> um, so first one, let's start with this. Look at this. Okay, this, <laughs> this is apparently the Wendy special birthday day rainbow fabric panel so I've just been told in my ear this is what you get so you get 21 half meter pieces so it's 10 and a half meters in total all of these beautiful colors they are Rose and Hubble 100% cotton let me grab let me grab this fuchsia so I can open one up look at that just beautiful it's what I, I'm, I'm absolutely over, um, overwhelmed with this because I was saying the other day about plain sometimes I've, I've got lots of fat quarters at home we all buy fat quarters and the beautiful colorways etc but sometimes what we're missing is some plain to go alongside it 
to add us borders, to add us some detail, to add us sashing, um, to make handles out of if you're making bags. There's always a reason to have plain. And this just means you've got 10 and a half metres stock. Um, it's really lovely. Do you know, you know, you know I tend to think of everything in dressmaking terms, but it, you could also join these panels together and then you could make a panel dress. So you could make something with these colours. And they're beautiful colours, all coordinated by Kat, our producer. So she's, she's put all these beautiful colours together. So you get 21 half metre pieces. So I'm going to put that back in there so it's in the colour colour range. I'll probably mess it all up in a minute. So it's half a metre of white, silver, dark grey, black, emerald, chartreuse, lime, jade, cyan, not quite, but I'll let you get away with that one, Royal blue, copen, navy, amethyst, magenta, oh, magenta, pomegranate, <laughs> blush, I love the colour sometimes, coral, sunshine, orange, scarlet. Can you see the scarlet? Here we are, pushed him in. So all of those. So that's so 21, 21 different pieces, 72.99. But remember, if you use your discount, you know, your, your voucher sort of thing, it becomes 62.99. So if you just order this today, you're getting it cheaper. So that does, how does that make it per half metre? 2.99 a half metre, which is incredible. And this, you know, we, we, you wouldn't find a quality fabric like this for that kind of price. So that is incredible price. Really worth having because you'll always find a use for it. If you've got it in your stash, you will find a use for that somewhere. It might be for cushion backs, it might be for bag lining, it might, as I say, be for sashing or borders on your quilting. Um, there's all sorts of reasons and you can even use this. It's a good cotton, you could use this for dressmaking. You could block a dress, you could do all sorts with this. Um, if you're buying multiples of this, they come pre-cut. So it's not a case of, in this instance, it's not a case of saying picking one colour, pomegranate, which I would call this one cerise myself. But uh, if, you, if you had that one and you wanted two metres, you'd get four times that, okay? Because it's already pre-cut. This is a pre-cut bundle. So it's all ready to go as a bundle. So on this, it, it, it's, it's, a really, it's a really good deal. Um, it's, it's a lot of money. It sounds a lot of money just for getting fabric to put in your stash. But when you think how much it is per half metre and how useful it's going to be in the future when suddenly you're making something you just could do with a piece of blue or something. And you've got this whole lovely range. You'll have something there all the time. And if you looked at those um, variegated threads that we had in the first hour, um, look at those on the website, the aerofill um, threads with the variegated colours, they would go with these beautifully and because these are plain they would really stand out. Pop some wadding behind, do some decorative stitches and you can create a really fabulous cushion panel or something just using plain fabric, fabulous threads. Bag lining, you can have something really special as a bag lining. Oh, Bargello quilts, yes, look at the colours that you'd have going on down there. So ten and a half metres to, altogether, half a metre per piece. There are a lot in the baskets already, uh, but don't forget to add the Wendy code in order to claim your £10 off. So that would be a really handy. So that makes it £62.99 if this is your first purchase of the day. So it's really good. And there is a postage charge, isn't there? Yes, there is. So as usual, the postage is three ninety-five, but that's for the whole day. So if you've already checked out your mug, because you've bought that already, and then you're going to buy this now, don't worry, it's not another three ninety-five. That first payment will be for the whole day. So that's that first set. Okay, yeah, be careful, don't, don't, I, I hate to say because I don't want to come across as that we're trying to pressurise you into buying, but uh, we have got limited stock and if you've got it in the basket and you definitely, definitely want it, it might be wise to check out and then come back again. Um, 
just a warning. Please don't feel pressured. Okay. If, oh, if you're calling the call centre, not doing it online, again, you just say Wendy. They might, <laughs> they might not be called Wendy, but if you say you're claiming your Wendy discount, they'll take it off for you there as well. <laughs> yeah, Wendy said. <laughs> okay, what shall I go to next? This one. Look at this. Look at that. This, so there's 39 pieces in here and there's a huge panel. So this is a considerable purchase, but what, yet again, I mean, you have got enough. So these are fat quarters. So, so, in, so what happens here when you suddenly see me move it over is that in my ear, I'm being told to bring it to my left or my right. And I don't know my left from my right. So I have to work out which way I'm supposed to be doing it. <laughs> yeah, what, yeah, that's what you have to say to in future, watch hands so I'll know which one's which. I don't know why I can't learn that. And I know the old thing that that means left, etc. But you know, if you put your hand that way, it's not left anymore. So, and I'm that awkward. So look at these, these are all these beautiful colours. So we've got a mixture here. I'm going to open one up first. So this is a whole mixture and these again, beautiful cottons. These are Moda fabric. So it's a lovely soft cotton. Oh, let's turn it up the right way. Look at that, that's like a little, little village or a little farm scene there. So you've got these lovely prints and then alongside those lovely prints, We've then got, they're not plain plain, they're sort of self-printed colour. So they've got sort of flecks and things in. And so they, course they, they coordinate beautifully. So let's put that one with that one. Now the price of this bundle, because remember there's 39 fat quarters, it does qualify for split pay, but if you go for the split pay, you can't get the discount because that's on so it's £10 off or you can pay. So if you, if you want to split pay this one, then continue to shop for something else and, um, and you can get your discount on something else. But for this one, it wouldn't apply um, if you're going for the split pay. But I want to show some of the other prints. 39, I mean 39 fat quarters. That's a huge, it's a mega bundle. So I'm just, I'm going to, I'll fold those up in a second, but I want to show another one of the prints. Look at these ones. Look at that. Big sunflowers. So again, they can't, even though, I mean, that's print and print, but the prints will go together because these colours have been chosen to go together. That's the thing about buying a pack that's already put together. Um, they've been printed and, and coordinated as a, a colour scheme. And so you've got all of these. Let me pick another one. That's another one of the sunflowers. Oh, look at this one. This is, not, this is a smaller print. So you've got the bigger and the smaller. So when you're looking at adding a smaller piece, little squares or something, you can use a smaller print. So that's really sweet. So again, it's little, I don't know if it's right or wrong way up. It's little, it's kind of like little flowers, but they're kind of geometric flowers because they've got leaves on the stems there. So that's another one that's really pretty. So some of these you've got different colorways. So that one, we've got it here in a more of a turquoise. So some of them have got a different colourways and some of them are singular. This one, I can't... Oh, yeah, there is another ladybird. He's up there. It's a ladybirds. So they're, they are really sweet and different. So lots of different kind of prints on them, but they all coordinate well with each other. Oh, we've got another ladybird one. So going through and some more sunflowers and some more planes. Let me find another print. Ah, see if I, I could, I could start mixing and matching them again differently. So this is this is a very simple. So again, it's another one of the simple designs, and these are good sort of for joining pieces. When you want to join one of the prints with another one of the prints, um, it's good to have something. I'm trying to find another one of those prints there that's different. Um, let's go for. Oh no, that's another one of those. That's another one of those. Here we go for this one. So if you wanted to put those together 
it's nice to have something in between. So that's why this is a really good pack. But it also comes, so not only do you get 39 of these different fat quarters, you also get this huge, 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 huge panel. Do I show it? Which way? Is it better to show it to the camera because it's so big? Look at this. So can you read that? Whatever life plants you, bloom with grace. It's a French proverb. But I mean, that is a, that's a beautiful panel and that would make a lovely centre of a quilt. I'm sorry it's so creased but it's come out of the warehouse like that. And obviously it'd look a lot better if it's not creased. But you know, talking about sort of embroidery and cross stitch, you could either, you could free motion on this, you could free motion round the flowers, or you could add some cross stitch and some French knots and things. You can make things stand out quite simply. So this would be like a whole quilt panel. Um, and then you'd, you'd add borders. So you could add borders using some of these other fabrics. So you could cut these into strips and add borders round. Um, it, it would just be a really lovely, lovely quilt with a fun message in the middle. And you can add embroidery stitches, free motion to it, just to really lift out some of those flowers and the colours and the little ladybirds. So I think that, that is really lovely. Now, this, this, we are very limited on this fat quarter bundle. Um, and as I say, you get 39 fat quarters and you get this big panel. Um, and you can pay split payment. Or if you don't want to do that, but you want to get your £10 discount, of course, you can do it that way instead, remembering you do that. So look at that. We've had, OK, we've had a message. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, it's her husband's birthday at the same time. Well, happy birthday to him. What is his hus what's husband's name? Has he got a name? Oh, she doesn't say OK. <laughs> So yes, the question there is, do I have to order from the show to get the £10 off or can I order from the website? And I believe the answer is you can order whatever you like from the website. It's if you place an order today. So it's £50 or more in a single transaction. So if you put, you can put half a dozen things into your basket, which add up to £50 or it can be one item and you get that discount just the once today and you just have to quote the code WENDY. And that's, look at that. All right, yes. Oh, you're going to make me move on before I finish folding these up, aren't you? <laughs> I'll come back to them. Look at this. Now, this, this is one that I chose on the website because I just absolutely love it. Uh, let's make sure I put it up the right way. I'm going to hold it up again. Can you see? It's quite a long panel. Now, I, I see this, well, there's, there's a few things I can see this doing. So this is, this is a lovely wall hanging. So you can put some wadding behind it. And again, oh, just taking the label off it, mustn't do that. Again, what you can do is, I mean, you can leave it as it is, or you can do some quilting, or you could do some um, hand stitching to emphasize some of the detail. If you've got wadding behind and you do some hand stitching, you can really emphasize some of those, fleet, those uh, flowers. You could add some beading in here. So you could really make it stand out. Obviously French knots, we all love a French knot. Um, so there's lots you can do here. It's a beautiful panel, it's already done. We've also got a bundle that Kat's put together to go with it if you wanted to make it into a quilt. So this would be a lovely center of a quilt. This would, I mean, this alone, add just a little bit of a border and you've got a lap quilt. So if somebody, you know, somebody's in a wheelchair and they need to have a lap quilt when they go out, give them something really pretty. But this is, this is quite simple. You could, you could make this very, very quickly because it's got such a beautiful design in the middle. So I absolutely loved it. And it is only 9 99 I mean, this is, for this huge panel, um, I'm not sure what the size is. Uh, there's, a measure, there's a tape measure behind me. Let me quickly measure it in case that's important for somebody. It is 
So width-wise, the actual panel itself is 60 centimetres, which is 23 and 3 quarter inches. And length, I'm measuring from the, pa the printed panel, not the fabric edge, so you can get more of an idea. Uh, this is going to be more of approximate because I'm just holding it out here. This is 110 centimetres, which is sort of 43 and a half inches ish. So it's a nice big panel and you can use it as the panel is as it is. Or, of course, what you can do as well is you can sort of cut it around that and then use these bits for something else, you know, for more for the border and things. Um, I just love it as it is. I think I can see that, as I say, with a bit of wadding behind it, binding the edges, put a back on it, do some embroidery, do a mixture of free motion embroidery, hand embroidery, a little bit of beading. That'd be a nice little project to sit and do when you're binge watching TV. You know what I do in the evenings, don't you? <laughs> so, but it makes you feel less guilty because you're doing something rather than just sitting there watching TV. You can feel productive. So that's a really nice. Let's look at the complementary bundle. So bearing in mind those colours on that, what Kat has done is put together a bundle of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And these are half metre pieces. So these are half metre pieces. So again, it's, it's, it's got diff it's, they're different colours, aren't they? Yeah, they're different to the... So if you went for this... Um, this long rainbow coloured. These have got different ones in there, so even more colours. So quite good to get both. Um, so this is 23.99 for the seven. So it's three and a half metres. And we've got light lilac, amethyst, purple, sky, ivory, chartreuse, Fern, fir, oh fir, fir tree. Okay, I just love the colour of these colours. So again, it's a really nice quality. Is it the same Rose and Hubble fabric? Rose and Hubble, so it's a good quality fabric, well-known brand, cotton fabric, and it's got some weight to it. So this is a really nice bundle on its own. But you know, when you think, I don't, you wouldn't need all of this to make a quilt out of this. You'd need some of it. So you'd have spare for other things. You'd have spare to make cushion covers with it, something like that, or bag. You know, if you're going to make it, if you're going to make it for something, say you're making a lap quilt for somebody who's in a wheelchair, um, you could then make a bag that can have all sorts of other things in it from some of the coordinating pieces. So that would make a really nice sort of set for somebody as a gift. Or of course, you know, a lap quilt at home when you binge watching your TV is also very handy. <laughs> I like I like a little blankie on. So that's really nice. I think that's lovely. Or as I say, I quite like the idea of that as a wall hanging. I think that would look really quite lovely. Um, I've, I'm just thinking in my spare room, I could see that in there. So these are the colours that you get in this pack. So this is a 23.99, seven half metre pieces in these glorious colours, which do team very well with the panel. So you've got the colours coming out of the panel. So you've got the blues, the greens. Beautiful. Well done, Kat. I just think you've done very well. It's, it's, it sounds very patronising and I don't mean to be, but I think it is. Uh, oh, OK, so we're in single figures for this complimentary bundle. So just bear that in mind if it's something that you want. And oh, half the stock of um, the, which one? Oh, this one. Yes, the big mega bundle. No. Oh, this one, the rainbow ones. Yes, you can see, you can see I like that because I keep stroking it. I just really do like that. I have sanitised my hands, by the way, just to uh, make that clear to anybody watching me fondling these fabrics. Um, OK, so let's go on to another one. Sorry, I've got to just... All right, we're going... Oh, Alison Glass. Now... Um, we are limited for this one. Now this is this is the um, the one that we had on the show last week, isn't it? I haven't done that very well. Oh, yeah, I do. I absolutely love it. So, is that where has it got the panel this time? This one is okay. I'm going to start with this because I know my sister Sue's got it, and I have not yet bought it, but I have got it in mind to buy if if I don't miss out. Um, this panel, 
This comes in the bundle. But remember, so this is 59.99 for the whole bundle. Use your 10 pounds discount, so it's 49.99. Um, and you get so that th this is a, a beautiful panel which I what I'm envisaging and I know my sister says what she's going to do she's thinking of making two cushions so using that as a front um, and then she's going to put some wadding behind it and uh, make a cushion back out of something coordinating and she's going to have those in her home she's going to have two and that's exactly what I want to do I want to have two cushions in these beautiful colours because these colours will go beautifully in my living room. I know that sounds like my living room is gaudy, but you might think it is. But I mean, it's not. I've got white walls and I've got beige settees, but I've got bright cushions. That's what I like to do. So that is your panel. So that's as well as, so as well as you get all of these fat quarters, sorry, half metres. So it's one, two, three, four five and then we have the sort of self soft prints here six seven eight and thinking butterflies we've got the butterflies again let's quickly grab that one look at this this is it's, it's like randomly placed butterflies oh it doesn't matter which way up it's they're up and down so it's got like a sort of a lacy pattern underneath and then you've got the butterflies and as with all of these kits or packs that we put together they all go with each other and that's the idea you can combine these with each other I see some of these in, in with dressmaking but at the moment if you're buying the bundle of course you're only getting a half meter but these would make lovely summer bags they would make great cushions they would be lovely in a quilt you could add some of these colors and if you're going for the bold colors in a quilt then you can intersperse the little self pattern ones just to separate the colours so that they all really stand out and then these will make the colour pop beautifully. All of these are in this bundle, 59.99. Oh, we've only got five bundles left. So I, this, I mean, this is sweet, isn't it? That's like, so again, if you're looking at things that you only need small pieces then you go for the smaller print and if you're looking at large pieces like this is this is the same sort of colors as the panel isn't it you can use a lot you could make a cushion front with that you don't have to do anything else you can just do it with that but look at this look at the way the colors change can you see if you if you and um, just look if i bring some of these from the rainbow bundle so they go with all of that too so this is such, I mean, this is why this rainbow bundle is such a good idea, because it will go with so much else. You always find something to do. Oh, I've got a little purple that was getting hidden there. Get that back out again. So this is, oh, I love this one. This is really beautiful. This is a dress. This is a dress, this is. I mean, obviously not in this bundle, but if you bought three metres, it would make a dress. So, so that's really lovely. I love that one. So this is our bundle, 50. $59.99, but you can use your discount for that. Let's have a look. So the panel on its own, you, so you can, oh, you can still buy the panel on its own. So I, which means I can still buy the panel on its own. Maybe I'm not going to talk about it actually, because it might get sold out before I actually get home and buy it. So no, you can't buy the panel on its own. <laughs> but yes. So just to remind you, the panel that I opened out earlier, look at that. That. That's 9 .99. And you can make two, I mean, I'm saying you can make two cushions out of this. You'd have to have something else on the back, of course. But look at those cushions. And what I would do with this is I, I'm really into adding uh, embroidery onto uh, machine stitched items at the moment. So embroidery or free motion stitching. And you can go round some of the shapes you can make them sort of really stand out there's little bits in here or little dots so you could add a bit of beading if you wanted to as well so there's so much you could do you've got a blank canvas there to do it with but what I also like about it is it's so beautiful so colorful you could just stitch it together and that's that you know you wouldn't then have to worry now the only thing I think we did say when we were when I was last on um, the size of that piece 
I can't remember what it was, but it's quite big and I'm not sure you can get a cushion of that size. So what you would need to do is either get your toy filling. Uh, so yes, so that sort of comes out to 20 inches, sort of 51 centimetres um, each way, allowing a bit of space there. So it's, a, it's about a 20, 21 inch both ways. Um, so you can either get toy filling, make your own inner and stuff it like that. Or the other thing you could do is actually get cheap pillows from the supermarket and uh, cut them down to size. And that's another way of getting your right size cushion covers. So all of this, all this rainbow bundle as well, goes beautifully with this panel. So if you didn't want to get all of the other, and I can't, you know, it's, I, I would say, why not? <laughs> because, but no, I know bright colours aren't everybody's choice. So if you didn't want to get this bundle, but just want to, oh, anyway, you can't, it's sold out. <laughs> so forget that. So you can get the panel, you can still get the panel, and you can still get the rainbow bundle at the moment. So that's the, um, the other bundle to get. So you could get this panel and then you could get these and that would go beautifully together. So I'm going to have to put that to one side because it's no longer available. Oh, this one over here. Okay. Oh, sorry, sold out. Can't have that one. Oh, we've got it in um, a jelly roll. Is that this one here? What do we call these? A design roll. We're not supposed to call them jelly rolls, are we? So this is Riley Blake. So this is another fabric brand that we know and love. It's a really good fabric brand. Um, this is $49.99. Um, and what you do is you get 40 pieces. And they are, I think, two and a quarter inch wide or two and a half. I never remember. They're standard sort of width. Um, two and a half inches wide and you get 40 pieces. Now you can use these uh, for all sorts of jelly, jelly roll quilts um, or designer strip quilts. And you can, use, you can use stitch and flip as well. So there was a bag, uh, bag pattern we didn't get to talk about on the first show, which you, you basically got the um, interfacing, which was already marked out and it showed you how to add your colours. Um, this sort of thing works beautifully with that. Um, I've actually made jelly roll quilts with these and you just randomly put the colours together. You do them in a long strip and then you bring the strips up and do them again. And you just get this sort of random strip. It's a really quick and easy way of doing it. Lots of lovely colours. So these, this is like, so this is somebody that doesn't necessarily like bright, but still wants some fun, funky patterns. So this is, this is sweet. It's got like honey and bees and that's really sweet on these prints here. And the good thing about getting a designer roll like this is they're already cut up for you. So it also means if you want to then um, make, you know, small squares, you can cut the small squares easily from these strips. You can cut triangles easily from these strips. You can get rulers that can cut from these strips. So it just sort of takes some of the cutting out for you and you get all of these beautiful fabrics that you wouldn't normally be able to get. So you can see all these different ones, different different patterns. I'm not sure how many different patterns are in each bundle. There's 40 pieces, um, but there'd be more than more than one of each. There might be two of each. I can't guarantee that, but so that is a really lovely bundle. And of course it comes neat, neat and tidy like that. So <laughs> this is another one. So again, this is very similar. This is dark colour. So this is by, is this Tula Pink? Yes, yeah, so this is a Tula Pink one. And so again, you've got lots of prints, but um, more monochrome, but with a little splash of colour every now and then. So every now and then we've got a little splash of colour in them. All cut to the two and a half inch wide strips, 40 of them. And the thing about when you see it like this, again, you can put all these together. They've been purposely chosen for a little pop of colour every now and then. It's like somebody's coloured it in with a crayon. It's really sweet, isn't it? But they've been chosen so that they go together. And the thing about doing a jelly roll quilt is that you put them together randomly. Don't try and choose which one goes next to each other. They'll all go with each other, so it doesn't matter. And it gives you a much more unique feel to it. 
If, if you're thinking about the, the discount, um, this with the early bird mug, say, um, or the panel, which doesn't go together, but you can use them for different projects, that can, you can get to your £50 and then you can claim your discount. So all of these are really lovely. It's a plane there just to go to offset some. Look at these little pandas. Oh, giraffe. No, zebra. <laughs> This is, oh, peacocks. So this is a really lovely collection. I think it's a tiger. This is like a really animal collection. What's it called? It doesn't say. It's on the line work range. But yeah, it's, it's, got a, it's really sweet. It's got sort of animal theme to it. It's just every now and then you've just got the color coming through. And I just think, and again, the colors all work with each other. So, it's just lovely and it would make a really lovely, it's kind of like monochrome with a difference, isn't it? Monochrome with a spot of colour. So that's really good. 40 pieces um, of your two and a half inch square strips. And as I say, you can then use these. You just sew them together and then you've got a jelly roll quilt. You can use them. I've seen a jelly roll skirt. That looked quite good too. But you can also cut squares out of them as well so you can then sort of cut them into squares or you can cut them into triangles so you can do a lot from that but the first cut the first strip is already done for you so that's really good we've got another one now these are i'll say brighter colors but they they're still they're sort of quite muted these are riley blake this is how it would come to you look doesn't, doesn't that look gorgeous you just want to make something with that don't you and again, what we've got here is lots of coordinating prints and colours. So we've got lots of different yellow ones there. And then we're going pink. What does this say? Something of the valley. Lilies of the valley. Lilies of the valley. Yeah, you've got flowers and then... It's the Bloom and Grow collection. So again, you've got the same print in different colourways, but a whole load of different prints as well. Sort of, I mean, this is keys alongside just sort of chevrons, alongside some flowers. And the good thing is the colours are all picked up in each piece so that they go together. So you've got your big flowers next to your little flowers, but they would also go with the blue. If I slip that one out of the way, you can see the blue in that and the blue in that. So that's what's happened is that they're all carefully coordinated. Takes all of that guesswork out of it for you. Look at these. I love these. I like flowers. So pretty flowers, bigger flowers again. And then the chef. So you can see the colourways coming through in the pinks. You could, th there's lots of things you can do with these. You can make bags easily with strip bags. You can make it into one big piece and then you can cut it into something smaller. Um, you could make a, a garden kneeler. You would probably want to put some waterproofing um, paste on it, Odie coat on it and uh, some nice um, sponge foam inside so that when you're kneeling on it, it doesn't hurt <laughs> but you know you could make some really nice garden cushions for, as well I mean you can you know everybody sort of talks about um, the room outside nowadays we don't just have gardens we have a room outside um, and then you need furnishings for that so you know there's lots and lots of uses for these um, I love them and I love the fact that you can very quickly put something very colorful and pretty together just by using strips. I think that's really gorgeous. So that's our third set. And again, 49.99, 40 pieces. Um, and they are all two and a half inches wide. I'm going to look at these ones. So we've got two here. I'm going to look at the blues first. So this is called Peacock. And this is $69.99, so this qualifies for your discount if you buy this pack. There are six, 16, did you say? 16 fat quarters. Let's see if I can open this carefully so I can put it back together. Um, 
16. So again, beautifully, this is Tula Pink, you said, didn't you? So Tula Pink, um, well-known designer, she came over and taught at Festival of Quilts a few years ago. A lovely lady. So let, look at those. Let's spread those out, look. Oh. Let's, um, oh, look. She, yes, her, her colours are, they're, they're my colours. These are, these are daring colours. They're daring combinations of colours. But look at this. You know, you wouldn't necessarily think of putting lime with uh, lilac. But it works. It really works. And they work, again, they work together. If you put them together, they work. So they make lovely projects. You can have clashing colours. You can have toning colours if you could just wanted to keep them all toning. They all work really well together. I love this one. This looks, yeah, it looks like, um, I remember years ago in geography, you sort of draw hills like this, wouldn't you? So they're like, yeah, they're on ordnance survey map, that sort of thing, dating me there. Um, so they're really lovely colours. And this one, we've had this one before, look with the little birds. Isn't that so sweet? So that's, it's really sweet, isn't it? So the colours coming through and it looks, it's just got, it's, I mean, it's like little flowers, uh, little stars, little birds, I'm not sure what kind of bird they are, swallows, doves, I don't know. But they, they're just there and it's just a nice little print. So that's really good for small pieces. So you can add that little pop of colour, a little bit of design, and then you can use the bigger, bolder prints for larger pieces. That's that sort of geo design again, but it's, I like this one actually, because it really kind of makes it stand out more. It kind of gives it a 3D D look. I'm not sure if you can appreciate that on the camera. That's really sweet. And then the simpler ones. And again, as I say, you can, if you want to, you can keep so you've got the sort of three designs in that colourway. You could keep those together or you could actually, you know, pick out one of the other colours because it's still in there. That colour's still in there. So you can pick out those and put them together. It can, it's up to you how you do it, but they've all been colour coordinated and put in um, a, a set like this, this beautiful set, so that you can actually mix and match them to your heart's content. It's, it's kind of a mixture of... Yeah, so it, yeah, it is. It's a mixture of sort of nature, as Joe's just saying. There's a mixture of nat nature in there because you've got the birds and the stars and things, but they're not sort of natural colours. It's kind of like a, it's a, a juxtaposition of um, colours and design, and that does have that sort of look of um, the tundra and the things. And we have a similar set. Goldfish, did you say? Goldfish. So this is a similar set, but this is goldfish. So it's the same, same prints, but in more goldy colours. So these are sort of the yeah, these are sort of spring summer colours because they're all lovely, lovely colours. And again, you could do so much. I mean, well, we all know you can do so much with fat quarters. There's lots of books around, um, lots of projects around to use fat quarters. So this is a really beautiful set here. All the same prints as before. Uh, again, $69.99 and you get 16 pieces. So that's four metres. Yeah, so dividing it by four because they're fat quarters. But today, of course, if you haven't used your code already, you can use your code WENDY to check out and get these lovely pieces. OK, so I have got now... Well, what's, what is this? Yeah. Because... This looks fascinating. I mean, I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it like this. Can I? Can I open it? Does it open? So this is called Daybreak. Finish size 64 by 80 inches. It's Moda, so really good quality again. And I'm assuming this is what you're going to be quilting. Look at that. And inside. We've got instructions, how to do it, all the way through. So what is this? 129.99. And then we've got all of the fabrics. 
So the so you've got exactly what you need to make the quilt. I'm going to carefully get them out. So the, I think you have to provide your own backing and wadding, but you've got enough here to do. Can I just going to get them out? Or oh, they've been out before. Look. <laughs> Someone's opened this from the past. Look at those. I'm going to flick through them. I'm not going to unfold them because I won't ever get them folded up again. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's called Daybreak because it has got the, it's got the colours when the sky goes from sort of the dark night to the softer colours of the morning. So you've got lots of... And again, you've got colours and patterns here look at this paisley so you've got colours and patterns that you would probably think oh I would never put those two together but don't they go well don't those colours go well and of course the lovely pattern that you get will show you exactly how to put those together it is it's yeah it's lots of blocks so you've got big blocks solid blocks of just a print in between now there's probably a fancy name for these stars but basically they're made up of triangles. So you've got these blocks, which are quite simple to make. Um, there's, there's two or three different, no, there's probably three or four different types, but it's all kind of made up from the same kind of things, from triangles and squares. And you just make all of the blocks and it's all explained. So even if you're a beginner, you can do this. You really can, you can do this. Um, you've got all of the instructions and it tells you how to put the blocks together. So. It explains how you're cutting it. It explains how you then put the pieces together to create the different blocks. And then using the different fabrics creates a different look of each one. So it's, it's a really it's lovely and detailed in, um, explanation. And I think, you know, £129.99, all you need now is your back and your wadding. So to actually create a bespoke quilt of this calibre, for that money it's really good it's mode of fabrics good quality fabric all the templates all the details so depending it this is this is what you've got inside here and then this is telling you what you need as well so you need five yards of backing and you need 72 by 88 of batting or we call it wadding so that is really lovely and of course this qualifies for your 10 pounds off um, so this is really lovely. I'm going to squish it back into the box now. Um, comes with all of this, and I like the fact it's packaged, and I like the fact it's all there to create your front. So if you're new to putting together a quilt, you're not sure how much fabric you need, this is all for you. This is a big quilt to start with, but it's all there for you. It's all ready to go. That would make a lovely gift for somebody who quilts, or it would make a nice gift if you made it for somebody. What a lovely wedding present to make somebody this quilt for their wedding that would be really nice wouldn't it Ooh. make sure it goes in there nicely and it all comes in that lovely box so we've only got uh, single figures now for this so we are running low oh we did a demonstration of it before oh 25th of january so if you want to see that you can go to the sewing street youtube channel and you should can you Sally Ann Harrison did it. Do you, do you search by date or by Sally Ann Harrison? So by date you should find it, so the 25th of Jan, and you can see a YouTube tutorial on that. I've got one, another fat quarter pack here. I love a fat quarter. You know I love a fat quarter, because I've got a few books about fat quarters. <laughs> Because it's right, you, you know, you get these beautiful fat quarters, but it's difficult to know what to do with them. You buy these and then think, now what shall I do? So there are quite a lot of books out there um, on playing with fat quarters, and three of which happen to be mine, yes. Um, I'm not sure, I know Sewing Street sell two of them, I'm not sure they sell all three. Oh, have you? Oh, right. Um, at the moment they've sold out, but I'm sure there'll be more coming. So look at these. So this is, this is a sort of softer collection. This is for people that like sort of pretty, delicate. And uh, this, is, this is more like my sister Karen. She, she's much more 
it's just got softer colours. And even though we're, we're, we're all three blonde, none of us were, we're all three blonde. Um, my sister Sue and I like bright colours. My sister Karen definitely likes more muted colours, more natural colours and looks stunning in them. Whereas if I wear muted colours, I look washed out. It's really weird, isn't it? When we, we've all got the same colour hair, but there we are. Got different colour skin. I think I'm a bit olivey. But this is beside the point. So let's, if I just sort of spread these out a bit. So these are, so again, we've got lots and lots of different patterns. Some of them sort of self pattern. Some of them have got a bit of colour. Just spread those out like that. And then we've got the other selection. Look at the blues. But they're all, they're all sort of soft blues. It is, this is definitely, this is a different kind of look. This is more country, more chits. And then let's put the last three like this. Look at those, can you see all of those? They're beautiful colours, aren't they? Let me just get one out to have a look. I can fold it back up, but I just want to, I mean, it's fat quarters of fat quarter, we know that. Um, but it's a lovely soft cotton. A really pretty print and that's just one of the pieces there and again because they've been coordinated and put together as a pack they all go with each other yeah. so that's the other thing I think you could you could do a whole quilt couldn't you you've got how many did we say we have um, twen so 20 so 20 is 5 metres, so that should do you a, a, a quilt front easily. Um, and, you can, and because they're such beautiful prints, you can keep the design simple. And I think that's the other thing I really like. One of my favourite um, patchwork techniques to teach is called disappearing nine patch. So you have nine squares, so you usually use like three colours, but you can use nine colours if you want. And you have three, and then you have the three again, and then the three again, but you just change their position, stitch them together, cut vertically down, horizontally across, and then you twist the top right one and the bottom left one, sew them back together again, and it's called a disappearing nine patch because you can no longer see it as nine patches. It suddenly looks like you've pieced together lots of little pieces, ever so clever. Very, very easy to do um, and uh, it's something you can do with prints like this. It, it really is lovely and uh, you can do it, as I say, with nine different prints as well. That also looks really good. It looks, And you can do that. So you could do that then you could add some sashing in between and then do another one and then you could do a crazy patch one using other smaller pieces. So these are sort of favourite ones of mine because they're really good for beginners. And what's this one? So this is $79.99. So don't forget, though, because um, of our special birthday offer, you can actually get £10 off of that if that's your uh, first order. And uh, you just have to quote Wendy in your basket when it asks you for a code. So, oh, I've got, an, have I? Oh, yes. So I'm just going to put that, put that back on there so I keep that together. This one here. Oh, look at this. Oh, look, this is so cute. Vina, Dina, Dina Designs. So it's six half meters, so three meters altogether, 43.99. Um, so we're starting with sort of floral and leaf. And then so a little pretty one. This is, this is ditzy print, this is really good. And then we have it in the pinks. And then look what we have. I'm going to get the blue one out. Oh, if, the only way you can get this one, so you can see I picked this one and I've just found out if you wanted it on its own, it's sold out, but you can get it as part of the bundle. So it's pre-cut as the part of the bundle. Oh, I've got I've gone upside down, haven't I? Look, isn't that cute? Are they parakeets? They're so lovely because it, it's colourful, but it's still soft. You know, it's not sort of in your face colour. It's quite a soft colour. So they are really beautiful. 
they would make something something nice out of that half meter pieces there so it's not fat quarters this time it's double that so this is the half meter so you've got that par parakeet one and you've got the same parakeet design in the pink so you've got the birds but also you see as as all these other collections I can put these together and they all go together beautifully I think they're just so lovely the, yes all these these sort of aqua colors I mean these are lovely so they're they're colors you've got all these bright colors but they're not bright bright they're sort of muted brights so I think they're really pretty soft colors and then just a simpler one if you want to break up the patterns you can add a simpler one it's still a nice pattern on it though but add, so this is uh, 43.99 for six pieces so in fact that's three meters so when you work that out as a meterage price it's a really good price for this quality of fabric which is lovely it's a lovely soft cotton Oh, but okay, so I'm just going to remind you of a couple of things. So, firstly, I'm not going to drink anymore because it's now cold. But <laughs> the early bird offer, which is this sort of funky mug, it's just fun, isn't it? It's even if you don't like hot drinks, you could use this to store your marking pens and rulers and things like that in there. So, you can use it in the sewing room because look at that, it's got a pair of scissors and some stitching. That's really cute. And it comes, it comes in a nice a nice presentation box so actually it does it does make a nice gift as well if you wanted to buy that for somebody a sewing friend just 9.99 brand new today and of course we have to quickly show you this again so look at this does, is it going to work yes it is look at this so this is this i tell you what i wonder if i if i can show can i show that fabric alongside it so that's, that's the sort of yellow light on it. And then if I flip it over, the light changes and comes up. And this is a more true color of it. If we do it again with the lights down, yeah. So this is, oh, I'm in the dark. Ooh. So this is, this is kind of like the true color of the fabric you can see there. But when I flip it over, just as using it as a light as opposed to a sewing aid, I don't know if you can see. Can you see how it changes the fabric? And it's giving it a more yellow tinge. So it's a bit like when you have your lighting in the house and you take a photograph, you'll sometimes find your photos have got a yellowy look to them. And that's sort of, that's your soft light. And you can turn it up and down just by running your hand along the sensor on the top. And it's got a carrying handle. You plug it into a USB socket, I believe. Uh, or is it into a mains? Is it plugged into a mains? All oh, right, okay. So and then you so you can charge it, and then once it's charged, if you have it on a lower light setting, it will actually last for eight hours. So that's great for overnight. Pop it in the bathroom, use it to take up to the loft, into the garage, into your cupboard under the stairs, which has got everything in. Ah, oh, in the garden, yes. At night, sitting in the garden, drinking your water in the evening. You can sit out in the garden, you can put this on the table, have a little bit of a glow, soft glow light, um, as much as you like. So you can have a little bit or a, or a lot. It's really sweet, isn't it? I do love this, actually. And this is uh, 63 99 But obviously, if again, if you haven't bought anything yet and you want to buy this, you can use your Wendy code, get £10 off. I just love that. I just love the way it's easy to turn up and down and off. I turn it off so I don't leave it on and run out of battery. So um, that's it for this hour. It's a fabric hour. So don't forget, you've still got a chance to buy the rainbow selection. Yeah. Only just so because we are very low quantities of that. Um, so do have a look on the website at all the things we've just looked at. And then we are going to be back with Jane in just a few minutes after the break. And she's going to show us some more fabulous cross stitch designs. Hello, I'm Jane Greenoff and I'm stood in the barn here at Pink's Barn in Gloucestershire, England, which is where I live with my husband and I stitch. 
I, st I think I stitch in my sleep. Um, I've certainly been stitching for over 30 years now. And by stitching, I'm talking about counted cross stitch or counted embroidery in general terms. I also collect old samplers and I've got one to show you here. Now, if this smashing, it was actually stitched in 1796 by a little girl of eight or nine. And it's absolutely charming. So I collect antiques. I love to draw and create antiques for the future and look forward to seeing you all on Sewing Street sometime in the future. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Hello, I'm Jane Greenoff and I'm stood in the barn here at Pink's Barn in Gloucestershire, England, which is where I live with my husband and I stitch. I, st I think I stitch in my sleep. Um, I've certainly been stitching for over 30 years now and by stitching I'm talking about counted cross stitch or counted embroidery in general terms. I also collect old samplers and I've got one to show you here. Now, if this smashing, it was actually stitched in 1796 by a little girl of eight or nine. And it's absolutely charming. So I collect antiques. I love to draw and create antiques for the future and look forward to seeing you all on Sewing Street sometime in the future. Hello, welcome back. So I am back with Jane Greenoff, who is the Miss Cross Stitch. <laughs> Last time she <laughs> was on, rasp, she promised she would bring us an Ada bundle, which is what we have here. That's the we're going to go cracking on straight away. I'm not going to preamble because we've got so much to show you. So this is the first thing. So yes. Jane, explain your Ada bundle. Well. Those of you who were lucky enough to get the linen bundles last time, it's, it's a circumstance we, we, we acquired, shall we say, 
are this marvellous um, confinement of fabrics and threads. Some of them we couldn't use ourselves and uh, so we decided we'd sort them out into bundles. And this is the Ada version, so you're going to get the same free chart as the linen lot got, which is just a black and white chart showing you alphabet letters. Right. So if you wanted just to make a little sampler or something, then you've got some letters to work from. You get a bundle of thread that I know go together, so nothing argues. And then you get this lovely range of fabrics. Now, I talked earlier in the programme about Ada and Linen and how they're different. So Ada, when they make it, if I can get a big enough chunk of one to show... This is a good one. If I can show... Oh, this one's even got a needle in it, look. A gold needle. This has a gold needle in this Excellent. one. Excellent. Now, if I put that still and wait till we can actually have a look at it. Now, you'll see that the fabric is woven in blocks. All right. So when you, they set the machines up for, for thousands of metres of fabric, the warp will be in groups of four or five. And then when they weave it, the shuttle does four or five, which means you get these definite holes. So this is absolutely brilliant. If you're new to stitching, this bundle, well, actually this bundle and the eye stitch and you're made. Yeah. That'll be all your Christmas presents sorted. Um, <laughs> So this is, this is a 14 count, this is a 16 count but got sparkle. Now your bundles will vary um, but they are absolutely promised to be good values. 350 grams, that's a 16. See that's what's sad about me isn't it? That you can I don't just, need to count though, no, I can just tell. It. So if you, if you don't know that and you need to count it. Yes, put a ruler on the fabric and start at one end and count how many boxes are in an inch. And that's all what the that count means is. is so so there's a lot of confusion I know about fabrics. If you think there's even weave and there's Ada. Ada is the one that's actually named after the opera, but we all call it Ada. Um, and see that's a sixteen. That's a sixteen. <gasps> Ooh, that's a twenty. So's that. So 20 is more holes. More per holes inch. So it's smaller. Yes, yeah. smaller so holes. So the higher the number, the smaller the thing's going to be. So if you have, a, for instance, if you had a little, pro excuse me, a little frame or a trinket box and you had a pattern you wanted and it was just practically too big, if you use a finer fabric, it would fit. And remember also with County Cross Stitch, it's not the physical size of any of it that is important. What's important is how many stitches there are. So if you could imagine a project, let's just, um, I'll just take this for just for a second. All I need to know is how many stitches go from there to there. And obviously counting any that stick out. Yes, so you go right from the edge of the stitching. Now, that fabric count is what you need to know to work out how big it's going to be. Because if it was 100 stitches from left to right and you're going on to a 14 ADA, you divide 14 into 100 and that tells you how big it's going to be. Now that I think is a 20. Well, you don't have to do that if you're working with uh, a design. No, no, no. This, don't, you don't, this is just if you're going to be designing yourself. If you're yourself, starting from nowhere. Yes. yes. When you when you start a project now again suppose this was the pro the fabric you were going to start stitching. What you do is you'd fold this into four and finger press and then fold it the other way into four. Now I if I'm doing a big thing I would run a tacking thread along those folds. Mm -hmm. because it's a reminder. So when you come to stitch this, you'll start there. Yeah. Right in the middle of the fabric. Less that whisker. Yes. <laughs> so you've got all these gorgeous, gorgeousness, just gorgeousness. Look at these for Christmas. So it's 350 grams of mixed Mixed count, Ada. Ada. But they're and all colours, Ada, not linen. There's and, colour and, and counts. Each pack hasn't got exactly the same. No, they will vary a little bit. 
We tried to make sure that everybody got a bit of sparkly. Yeah. And everybody got a bright cup, you know, you know so that everyone didn't... You, you want to do Christmas, you still can. So, yes, so we've got green, we've got blue, we've got red. Yeah, exactly. We've got the yarn, uh, sorry, the floss, the embroidery floss. That's and you, for you to I've experiment I've also got with. a needle. Well, the little gold needle is a taster for you because we'll talk about those in a minute. My, that is the Cross Stitch Girls, gold needles are probably the best in the world. I say that advisedly, because when we have these gold plated, which we have done in the UK, we have two microns of gold put on them, which is a staggering amount. And I'd like to say that I thought about this really carefully, but in fact, bought that much by accident <laughs> 30 years ago. And what, what it meant is that the gold doesn't wear off. So they're nickel needles, they come from um, James locally, Studley. So they're very good quality nickel needles, and then they're gold plated in Coventry uh, for the Guild. Oh, so I like the fact that they're British. Yes, I like the fact that they're yeah, British too. Yeah, that's nice, isn't and, it? And when I met them, when Lulu was five months old and she's 30 something, um, we were in California and my uh, wholesaler out in the US had taken me out for the day and uh, took me to a shop in Orange County, California. And I mean, it was a staggering place. Because at that time in the UK, you could get cream ader and, and beige ader mm. and cream linen and unbleached linen. And that was about it. Uh, and there I was in racks of nine different blues. You know, I just couldn't cope with it all. Anyway, that's where I was introduced to the gold needles. And um, the first time I, I sort of, I, I scoffed actually. I was terribly British and I thought it was a bit American and over the top. And, <laughs> um, and she gave me two to try. One was called flashed, which meant it was shown the gold. And one was a wired one with a measured quantity. Well, I stripped the gold off the flashed one that evening. Yeah. And then really liked the, the, the real thing. Is it thing. easier to sew with? The, the, the coefficient of friction is less with gold, which means they slide through the fabric more easily. <laughs> They're also marvellous for doing any of the knots, French knots or co co colonial knots or bullion knots. I wouldn't attempt them without a gold needle. Um, and also, I tend to have more than one needle running. So if I was doing a border with three colours, I'd have three needles. Okay, and so I you don't keep parked. changing. Yeah. But um, you get, one of, mark, get one of these in this bundle. This is, you this get is one, a, you one, get one of these special try. ones. Yes, I think that's try. really good. Yeah. And then we can talk about the other needles in a minute. Yes, well, yes. I, think, I think this is lovely. So you get this whole bundle, 350 grams of Ada, because that's how it's... Yes. Worked out. Yes. And with, so this is a really good bundle with, if you want uh, to use this, it's entirely up to you. You've got this chart for the alphabet and numbers, I think there was as well. Wasn't yes. There? Yeah. And they're just th so you can you do like a little play. Things, I mean, when you? your parcel comes, if there was no chart and no thread and you hadn't got access, you'd be really frustrated. Yes, because so you think, well, what can I do it, yeah, with this could, now? Yeah, I yeah. want to do it now. So you've got a needle, thread, and a pattern. Yes. Um, to have a go. And. Um, I know from experience that these do whiz out of the door. Yes, they do. And they go so beautifully with the eye stitch. Isn't it amazing? Because it's, it's a lovely combination there, isn't it? It's, it's symbiotic. It's a symbiotic, it's symbiotic. relationship. There we are. <laughs> There's a one posh word, word for um, We are very low on this. Um, and so we are down to single numbers, I think you just said, did you? Ooh. Yeah, uh, on these. And when it's gone, it's gone? Yes. 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 Okay. I mean, so. we'll hope to come back with some more um, bundles down the track away. But we, we have no idea no, when. No, no, no. I'm back on air for the birthday event on the 5th. Um, and there won't be any bundles for that, certainly. Yes. So we're looking at, if we do it again, it'll be certainly April. Right. So this is it. So this is it for now, definitely. All right. So... The linen we know flew out, so if you do want this, bear, bear, please bear that in mind. But let's look at the need. We're just talking about needles. Let's oh, look at the needles, I talk the Jane. Two, well, I there's think two sets here. You've got, yeah, that's what I say. You've got two sets. and well, Just the needles first. This one was the first, well, this was the, we, we started this one later. So this set is what we call our Plu Perfect, which apparently is true English uh, set. And the idea was to give anybody who's going to do a lot of stitching a really good selection so we've got a sharp needle now when we do our counted cross stitch we work with a blunt needle because we're parting the threads rather than piercing the fabric 
Whereas embroidery on fine linen, you're actually making a hole. So we, we want a blunt needle, but there's one sharp in here, especially so that if you want to make something up uh, or line something in a piece of felt or put in pages in a needle book, you've got a sharp. Um, you've got a, a, a beading needle. This curved one, uh, this is for, if any of you saw the little video earlier, there was a little greenhouse box and the, the round, the curved ones used for making up things that are a bit awkward shape. Because mm, it can go, in, it goes in and out at the same time. Exactly, yes. exactly. And then all the rest, are hit. these are for hardanger and all the rest are for cross stitch. The very tiny one is the size 28, so the higher the number, the smaller the needle, just to keep you on your toes. Um, and that is for one thread only. Um, if you've rammed three threads in there, you'll break the eye. Um, so that's a fine one, ideal for backstitch. You know, I love to, to move into a 28 if I'm going around the edge of something. So that's the Plue Perfect and set. And they've all got this gold this magic decoding. gold. Yes. When they, when they play, the, we've been around the factory and watched the needles going through a, a process. And at one point, I was holding £27,000 worth of gold. <laughs> I just thought I'd pass that run, on run. in solution, yes. but you know I was sort of. <laughs> um, but they um, they keep a, a few back from each batch. We do them in size batches, and we keep they keep a few back. It goes into a little machine that looks like a flat microwave, little short thing about that big, and it measures the quality and the quantity and everything. And they keep them and they're numbered batches so that if we had a problem with any batch, they could go back and find out why. Yeah. And I, I always get a certificate to say it's two microns of gold, British standard number something or other, which I never remember. Um, and we always maintain that as long as you can prove that you bought it from the Guild, we'll replace the needle if you strip it. I couldn't say no more. I've never had a... <laughs> I think Actually. this is wood, advisedly. <laughs> this certainly is wood. Um, we've never had uh, a plating issue in all those years. Yes. Um, we did have some um, needles that I bought in India, and they were very fine eyes, and we had eyes breaking. But that was, I don't know, 10 years ago. Yes. So, that's so these, the these are British set, made, which I think is a really lovely, is lovely selling point. They're fifteen ninety nine for that whole pack. And then you've got the box to keep them in. Yes, so you can keep which them is, Which is great. And then this one was up, if I say a beginner's set, I don't mean that in any way um, derogatory. Rude. Thank you. Yes. I couldn't think of the word. It's Friday <laughs> and I was up at three. Um, <laughs> um, this is because if you're a new stitcher, I mean, it's a considered purchase anyway, but you need a good pair of pointy scissors and these are cross stitch needles so that if you were starting this would be the perfect set you may not get to making complicated boxes later on or you may yes but that's an ideal set for yeah. someone who's not stitched before. i like the fact it's got the little gold handled scissors as well aren't they I sweet think that's really sweet because you lovely. do need this is good fixed on. really pointy embroidery scissors don't you to cut your threads yes. neatly yes yes and they they really are fiendish I've, and what about the gold on those is that also no that's no not that's just they come colour. to us ready plated so we couldn't tell you yeah all right so so that's it's, the, gold it's the needles. needles and the gold on the needles is because it makes it a better quality needle easier to sew with yes it, it, marvelous for any sort of knotting and the two other reasons i tend to make nickel needles go black I've obviously got some poisonous perspiration <laughs> or something, but some wine. people do. Feel, it probably is the red wine. You're absolutely right. Um, and and the other thing is that because I work with a number of needles, if I leave the fabric, if you had a nickel needle, it might mark the material. Mm. Certainly, if you leave it in any length of time, it you will mark rust, the material. You can, yeah, mark it with rust uh, and it's black. the devil to get out. Whereas the gold ones won't. Yes. And if you have any allergy to nickel, I guess yes, that will prevent that being a problem, Absolutely. wouldn't it? Absolutely. And people do. I know yes. they do. Yes, yeah. Yes. So, I mean, they've been... I think they're love. I love the fact they're in a little gift box as well, which is good for well, storage, you, but it you, is good as a gift. Yes, it's a nice another, thing you know, to give a stitcher. It, exactly. When, when you know somebody, as, uh, when, you get, when you get to a certain age... There's not much you want no. or need. Sorry, there's not much you, you need, need. No, because you need tend to have nothing to do with need. it. And therefore, to find gifts that are going to be suitable for people who have crafting, I mean, they're just beautiful, beautiful they are, They gifts. are lovely. And as I said, I haven't used a nickel needle for th mm, 30, probably 30 years. No, maybe 27 years. Mm. 
Uh, I have to be honest, mine aren't in a smart box like that. Not anymore. You could imagine. I do every. I have a. I have a t tobacco tin. I don't smoke, obviously, but I have an old one of Bill's old tobacco tins, and they're in there. And every so often, I have a stab of conscience. And um, in our stitch book, in fact, I can show. Can I just show yes, something in here? Yes, please do. This is yes. just just completely at random here. In the stitch book, that is life size needles. So I get that out and I can lay the needles on and check which size they are. Because you haven't kept them because separately. Because I haven't kept yes. them separately. I mean, that is true. Even in that box, actually, you can't necessarily see what size they are. So you could put them into a piece of your linen or your ADA and write next to it what size they absolutely are. Absolutely. If you could. want to store them like yes, that. Yes, absolutely. No, but, but, or you could buy this book, which is twelve ninety nine. <laughs> Segue like nicely into that book. It's always popular, this book. We've had it yes, before. Yes. This is one of your own books, isn't yes, it? Yes, we published this ourselves. And this started because my um, Cross Stitcher's Bible, which is a David and Charles book, uh, which was originally published in 2000, first edition, um, went out of print for a while. And um, I was actually sitting in my desk and I was going to do a particular type of hem stitch. And I was going, right, OK, I don't no, um, uh, couldn't remember how to start. Yes. Couldn't remember how to start. And I wouldn't it be nice to have a book, alphabetical order, just a stitch on a page? Yeah. And then I went, oh. That's an idea. So this is version four. Uh, there won't be a five. And the reason for that is a practical one. And that is, I've got as many pages in this ring as I can. And the next ring up is much bigger. Yes. And I wanted this project bag size. Yeah, and I, I also like the fact that you have got those sort of spiral oh, rings yes. because it makes it lay flat yes, very when easily, trying to doesn't look. it? When you're trying to read from it. You see, there's a, a good example. You've got a bullion knot. Now, these drawings are done for us by a chap called Ethan Danielson, who is extremely talented. I've known him for about as long as we've known each other. And he was the first person to tackle the business of showing how the fabric's constructed. So that the needles, you can see, that needle goes under those threads. Yes. And you can see that's going to twist. So he's worked really hard over a period, I mean, we built this up obviously over a number of years. Um, so that when the Cross Stitches Bible was published, you know, we felt that you can't call a book the Cross Stitches Bible unless it's fairly accurate. Yes. Had to really try. Je and Sue Hawkins, who used to be technical director of the CSG, uh, she was kind enough to go through it all with a sort of tooth comb. Um, but you can see it has the stitches. Um, they're all signed by herself. It also has a section on hardanger. So if you weren't going to do lots of hardanger and want the little book, this, this is very handy. OK, so just for those that perhaps don't know, hardanger is... This. <laughs> yeah. So basically, it's when you make, you create holes, don't you, to this as is, part of the pattern. Yes, this is actually. Wait a minute, let me find the picture. Or have I gone past it? Maybe I have. <laughs> no. This one's got colour colour photos in it. Yes. Wait a minute. I've so got this a is another one that you've, you. you've published yourself. Yes. And it's nine ninety nine this there time. That is. This hardanger is the costume that is traditionally still worn in Norway. Uh, this is the costume that belonged to the um, uh, family who own this hotel that I've been to with stitching ladies on a trip when we've gone to learn hardanger. So this panel across the skirt is the traditional hardanger embroidery, named hardanger because it's around the hardanger fjord. And um, these costumes, if you buy them, are thousands of pounds mm. with the silver. The matriarch of the family will wear the crown. And these, it's a sort of imitating lace. And so this little book was done so that you learn how to do it and then you've made this little scissor keep while you've learned. And then you can proceed on. And we did this in a what I call a hand-holding way. Some years ago I did a book for um, Vive Books, a CD-ROM book. And it was called Hardanger for the Horrified. <laughs> and we had, the, they had it at one of the shows. We and this Norwegian woman went past and said, 
why is Hardanger for the horrified? It's a beautiful place. <laughs> and then I explained that generally cross stitches panic when you tell them you're going to cut the fabric. Yes. And the screams of anguish or joy, depending on how it goes. So we've done it in absolute bite-sized pieces, look. It is a beautiful um, and kind of embroidery, actually, because you used it looks to teach so that clever. at these shows. And you've only got to be able to count to four, but it yes. looks really clever. Yes. I like, I like things like that. I like things like that, too. So these are the two books that we've got on the website and available now. Um, so, oh, we've had a message from Deborah. Hello, Deborah. Oh, that sounds good. Can you, can you see that? She says, I've got some of Jane's gold needles and been using them for over 30 years and they still look new. So that's, Thank you. Uh, yeah, which is basically well, what we you're do. saying. You're we still do. Using yes, them. we. I mean, it, as I said, I'd like to have said that um, I knew all about gold and I went and did a lot of research. And actually, what happened is a chap called Jeff Bradshaw, who I'd found on the phone, having got back from the US and thought I'll ring the needle supplier for gold ones, and they went what? So I had to get them plated. I couldn't buy any, and so I, I found. Um, this is long before the internet, so this was a day with the Yellow Pages. Found a firm in this area who would gold plate for me. They would do me a thousand needles. Yeah, how much gold do you want? And I said, well, I don't know. What does it come in? I mean, I didn't know. I had a wedding ring, you know. That was it. <laughs> and he said, well, British Nuclear Fuels and the MOD have two microns. And I said, what do the MOD gold plate? He said, the detonators for grenades. I said, I want that. <laughs> And that's how we got two microns of gold. Absolutely true. And I didn't know <laughs> that it was a lot of gold, particularly, until the funny thing happened, actually. Some years later, I had a visit from one of the big companies in the needlework industry. I'm not going to name them. Um, and two of their reps came in black Sierras, matched cars, parked outside my house and came to in, work out who was buying all the thread, actually. And I told them in an excited way about my gold needles, like you would. And of course, within six months, this company produced gold needles. Mm. And I, Bill and I both said, oh, well, that's a shame, because, you know, we're not going to be able to compete. And sure enough, their needles were shown the gold. Mm. So they were The flash. gold came off. Yeah. And it was Needlecraft magazine. Somebody wrote, said, don't bother with gold needles, it's a waste of money. And someone wrote in the Needlecraft magazine, no, you need Jane Greenhouse needles. The gold doesn't come off hers. So actually, they did us a favour. They did. I know. Yeah, so fortunately, sometimes the big companies do think they can do it cheaper. Yes. Don't always think through those. So things. we've got another message. Alison oh. is saying, Hi. Oh, I bought the set of needles last time Jane was on. Not used them yet. <laughs> Why not? Oh. <laughs> she said, they're just to be looked at. Yeah, she said they may be like a Liberty family. No, Bad girl. no, 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 no. Do use them, please. Have a go. Use them. Have a go. Because I think You'll it's like them. a lot of these things. Look at you me, you brought me out in goosebumps. <laughs> the thought of them just sitting there. It's it's like a lot of these things. People are a bit worried about it. But once you start using a, you, a gold you, needle, you, you'll you, realise you, you how much better it is. Yes. You won't go back. And I think actually at fourteen ninety nine for um, a whole set like that is a really good price. Yes. yes. Right, we're going to some of these kits. Uh, Paradise Garden, which was a long one, isn't Look, it? Right, now this is not a, a kit for a beginner. We're going to call it not for the novice. So you'd need to have worked on linen before and counted from a chart before. It, I love it. I have to say that I love it. It's long. And the reason it's long is it's emulating a band sampler. Obviously, it's in bands. This one you start at the top, not the middle. So this top section is basically cross stitch. So you sit and work your cross stitch and all the instructions are there band by band by band. And the idea is it's a bit like a class. It's pure cross stitch on linen at the top with a few little extra bits added. And then you start getting into the interesting stuff. There's some hem stitch. Um, there's very different stitches there. There's bullion knots, um, different, all different sorts of hem stitch. All these different ones here with needle weaving. This is down the bottom. Sorry, I'm too too quick for the camera. That's being very stupid. But you can see here, this one's got beads in it. And this was inspired by my trip to Sicily. Is that hard anger? Yes. So that's hard anger in yes. it as well? Uh, yes, that's yes. hard anger. 
So there's Hardanger, which is this, and this is actually hem stitch. If you think of the, the techniques, there's there's because it's quite confusing, there's cut work, which a hardanger is one of. There's drawn thread work where you remove fabric threads, creating ladders in the material, uh, there and there, for instance, and then you decorate the ladders. And then there's pulled thread work where you don't remove any threads or cut anything, but it makes holes because you pull really tight. Um, and it's sometimes when you see pull stitches, you look at them and think, really? It's not very exciting. When you get a group of pull stitches pulled really tight, you get a very interesting effect. This is, as I said, this is a considered purchase. Um, we were out in Sicily. Uh, the peacock showed us their tails. Um, the orange trees were everywhere. Um, it was a lovely experience. And so that's what really started me off. Now, a band sampler, they go back to 1646 and be behind. Um, I had a very dear friend, sadly, who's no longer with us, who ha came to one of my classes and left her car unlocked in my car park and then promptly went out and got her sampler from 1646, which is worth about £10,000 because it's very collectible. Samplers were worked on narrow fabric, so they would have been selvages either side rather than a hem. And it was a way of recording a pattern or stitch. And then you'd put it away and then you'd get it out and do another one. You know, no photocopies, no writing, no, no, you know, no paper. So all before that. And you'd learn the techniques. And there is an etching, which I've not been, ever seen since I saw it the first time and didn't do something about it, of a farmhouse where a woman's opened the drawer in a chest and it's rolls of samplers which are all worth about £10,000 now. Amazing. If only one knew where that was. <laughs> um, so they were not intended, the band samplers were not intended for display. They were intended to be rolled up, a little bow, and then, well, I wonder where that peacock design is. I could put it on this sleeve, and you'd unroll your samplers and find them. Yeah. So that's where they came from. But it is a beautiful piece to have. It is, an, it is, it is lovely. I do love it. I mean, that one's framed with a hem round it, which is an option. Uh, you could frame it straight without that or make it a bell pull. Uh, I love doing folded hems, so I mean, if it sits still long enough in my house, it gets hemmed. It gets hemmed. I, mean, <laughs> I just love it as a, a, wall, pe a wall hanging, really. Yes. That is and so there's beautiful. often a narrow piece of wall that you can, you know, we, we're all a little bit now, aren't we, I think. I don't know if you are, but I certainly am, where walls are now becoming an issue because I've been stitching for so long, you run out of space. Yes. Hence making things that you can use and so on. Um, but that is lovely. It'll go on that gap between a door, two doors. Yes. It will. I think it is very, very beautiful too. And you, you just want to spend ages just looking at it and the intricate detail of it. But as you say, not for a beginner. Not for a beginner. Uh, but for somebody who wants a challenge. Yes. You start at the top. Yeah. You've got all the instructions for all the stitches. All the threads are pre-sorted for you so that you, you, know, you get home from work and you're in electric light and you don't have to decide which is tapestry green and which is elephant green because I sometimes am defeated <laughs> by some of these things. So yes, that's, that's a that's really that's lovely. A really, so that it's a considered is, project, obviously. Um, 44.99. So what you're getting is the kit. You're getting the, is it linen, isn't it? It's linen. You're getting the linen and all the embroidery flosses all the threads, and of course the instructions. Uh, gold needles will be in that kit. Yeah. Um, the beads will be in, there'll be a beading needle. Obviously the charts are very complex, but the nice thing is you also get pages of instructions from herself with the diagrams and close-up pictures so that you can see what really you're doing. See it. Is the chart colour or black and white? Have we got one left? Oh, we then? haven't. That's why I'm not opening one. Oh, I don't know if anyone... Oh, yes, I have. Oh, Hold on. Come on then, let's so get in sorry. there. So sorry. Paradise Garden. The very same. I'm going to have to cut it again, aren't Please I? Please do. We can have a look at the chart. We can have a look at the chart and the and the yarns and everything you get. Well, I was sitting there starting to thinking I didn't have one because I, I don't know why I expected it to be long and thin. <laughs> <laughs> I sort of know what you mean, actually. Ah, <laughs> oh, well done. Yes, if you tip it out. Let's have a look. Look at that. Look at that. All these colours look. Aren't they nice, though? Aren't they beautiful? So you've sort of got three cards of, oh, I've got one, 
down here on its yes, little lonesome. Yes, little extra one. It's a little extra. So three of those. And they're all, all numbered, so you yes, can see which to ones go. to use. And the creamy and then, thread is for the hard anchor. The little loose one is for the hard anchor. Oh, that's for the hard anchor right? piece. Then we've got a little pack of tiny beads. So you've got a beading needle. Yeah. And then you have the sort of wide eye one for yes. your more threads. 24 or so you've 26. got three of your gold needles. Yes. I know. Do you know it's weird because machine needles are the opposite. The, the ah. lower number is a smaller needle, the higher number is a oh, bigger needle. I know. And then hand sewing is completely different. Um, so then you've, you've got your linen. And then here, let's look at these instructions. So that all of the, look at this. Aren't they lovely? Aren't they lovely? I mean, it, this, if you re realise that when I started designing on my borrowed drawing board resting on two bricks, on the dining room table <laughs> in our cottage. I used a rotary pen, a little fine liner, and I drew in symbols. So I'd do crosses and Vs and Ls and circles and would have a rough idea what it was going to look like. But of course, with the cross stitch programmes now, yes. I can see, you know, I don't get any horrors coming back because I send some of my cross stitch out to be stitched. And um, I, I'm never surprised. I'm yes. always pleased but because you it looks be, better. I've got a, a friend who um, is a knitwear, well, was a knitwear designer, and she had that same thing that yes. you know she'd be sending out a pattern. She has a vision in her head of what it's going to look like, but nobody else knows what it's going to look like until the first sample's made up. Absolutely. So yes, but obviously, if you use the eye stitch, you can see. You can see. You've got. You've certainly got a going pretty good like. idea. Yes. And I mean, so my, all these instructions I, here. I have a palette of colours. Um, in my studio that I haven't changed now for about 15 years uh, in that all those colors work together so when I'm designing I don't have to I don't have to have a panic about whether something's going to work or not because I know it is yes on the only occasion that we opened a piece of stitching one morning on the kitchen table oh, the whole family went Ugh. and that's many years ago 20 odd um, and it was before I had anything like this, uh, and and uh, I'd used three new colours. Yeah. Without checking. Without first. seeing. And it didn't quite work. But that's so wasn't you didn't sell that because you no, collected I threw it, it in the bin. Before, yeah. Went but, straight in. Oh, the bin. we've had another message. Let me put my specs on. So it on. says, morning girls, don't hesitate in buying one of Jane's kits. They oh. are exquisite. Bless I met you. Jane at Ali Pally. That's at the Knitting and Stitching Show a few years ago. She is wonderful. Take care. And that is from Julie. Thank you, Julie. Hello, Julie. Thank That's you for nice that. a nice thing to say. Bless your heart. Wouldn't it be lovely to go back to shows, hey? Yes, we're going to we're gonna go. We're going to go gonna back go. to shows. We're going to go. One day soon, to. hey? One day soon we're going <laughs> to go back to shows. <laughs> So we've got two more exclusive kits. I'm oh, just yes, going to pop do that them, to one actually, side. Mustn't we? We've got the shoreline sample. Right, so again, which is this. I'm going to put it on the table in front of me, like we've got so. A, we've got this in Ada and Linen again. So this is a cream background this yes, time. Yes, it is. And you've got the, we've got the sample on the table there. Very wise. How's that? Not bad. Look at that. Straight. So, so that's, that, that's like a, it's like again it's about like a sampler. It's though, like isn't a sampler because you've got the lettering there. And I, I mean, I, I know it's a bit of a cliche now, but we do have a seaside bathroom. I know it's a bit, you know, but I love it. It <laughs> makes me smile. Um, and this alphabet is one that I made up using the eye stitch. It was a, I don't remember the font, but I found the font. Thought I wonder if that'll work. Yes. And with a bit of jiggling, it did. It so it's did. a little unusual. Looks as if it's in the water. And then the seahorse, I mean, I, if I didn't have this hobby, I would have a seahorse tank. I can't because we're aware, well, we're not at the moment. Normally we, tr we travel a lot. Yes. Um, and it's just not something you can leave, but dear seahorse. So this is, as I said, available on Linen Orator. And um, it's pure cross stitch with a tiny bit of back stitch and a little bit of half cross stitch here along the bottom just to show the sand under the shells. It's really, really pretty. And again, as, as a kit, it comes with the chart, the instructions, the yes. linen or the ADA, depending on which one. Yes. And of course, the, the embroidery the floss. And is there a needle in this yes, one? Yes, there will be a needle. If there isn't, I'll again. sack them. <laughs> 
good. So poke them with a needle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yes. So yes, it comes, comes with a needle. That's really, really lovely. Um, let's look at. So that's that one. Let's look at one of the other ones we've got here. What's this one? Uh, what one we got? Oh, oh yes. Oh, yes, yes here one. he is. Is it a little what? Yes, yes. I'm going to hold this in my hand because you can't see more than one section at a time. So if I hold it and then gradually turn it over for you in a second, uh, you'll see the different patterns. So if I just wiggle it round, look. So it's three-sided. It's a three-sided. We call them what? That's upside down. <laughs> I could go mad now. Just a minute. Right, there's the right way up. So this has got cross-stitch and a few other stitches. Not hard. Um, probably not your first project. Should have counted, counted before. Um, other than that, I think it's pretty straightforward. They're three-sided. And um, the twisted cord is made out of threads from the kit. And um, there's a little swing there, look. There's quite a few knots there. And these have got some little um, hollyhocks flowers on. Can you see that? So anyway, is, this, is this all, oh, it's got scissors in here. Yes, these. Oh, you get your little scissors in there as well. Very nice So scissors. this is 15 pounds. Can I cut this one? Yes, of course you can. Go um, for it, girl. I just don't. I don't want to mess up the kit in case we're such short supply. I don't want people not to be able to buy it because I've had my mitts on it. Mm. So this one is only on the linen, and it's on twenty-eight count linen, is. which is the same as fourteen, 14 count Ada. Exactly. See, I was listening. Yeah, I was listening. And you get the little. I love that. You get the little sort of Bexford. We know is a good company. Yeah, absolutely. So nice little pair of tiny little embroidery scissors, aren't they sweet? You get the needle. Now this isn't a gold one. No, this no, is just this a regular is a John needle. James needle. John, it's a John so James. We know it's a good again. brand. Yes, yes, absolutely. And, and the bundle of thread. The bundle of thread. And this is the, For, the to chain. have a long enough piece to make the twisted cords. Yes. And obviously the and chart the and the instructions are all there. So when you stitch it, you can see now, I have to tell you the secret of this though. I bought a pincushion at the night market in Siem Reap in Cambodia. Uh, and it was woven actually, it wasn't stitched, but it was this interesting shape. So when I came home, I thought I'll make one of those. And I made three individual squares and then joined them together to make it and of course you don't need to you work just three squares in one piece and it's all about the folding yes when you've made it very simple to do there's a diagram for you um, but basically you're going to if i had a little piece of paper i could probably show you um, can i I've, show it on the diagram yes if you've got the somewhere there there should be a little extra that's the one there we are there you are you can see there how yes. the, how it's made and once you've done one, you, you, you'll find yourself making them a lot. They're ever so popular. And depending on where you put your cord, you see that one would, is tree decoration shape, yes. right? Because it's hanging that way. If you hang it that way, if the cord was on there, it's a paperweight. You know, it depends where you hang it. Yes. So this would, so we... There is a set of tree decorations on the Cross Stitch Girl website. We've sold them with you before, um, where, you, I mean, they're stitchable in an evening. This takes a little bit longer than yes. that. But again, I think it's a lovely little project to do. I know you said it's not for the beginner because it's on the 28th. I don't think it's the first project. The 28th it's, 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 <coughs> not the, it's not the fact that it's on the linen, actually. I'll tell you what it is. There are a few more stitches on that. And if you've never worked from a chart before, that's a bit mean. Yes. If yes. you do a cross stitch project, uh, a little scissor keeper or one of these, something like that. Um, once you've done that, then yeah, of course you can do yes. that. Yes. So it's, it, just, it's just not your first cut. Not the first project. time you've counted. But again, all the instructions are here. Yes. With all the detail. We've had a winter and a spring one of these previously. Yes, that's right. Um, so this is the first time this we're getting the summer. Summer, and then there's autumn to come. And there's autumn to come. Which will, of course, be acorns and oak leaves, because that's what I like. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've also, I'm just going to put that together. Where's the needle? Make sure I don't lose the needle. OK. Oh, oh there it is. I just want to make sure I keep all that together. 
They're very so well this, trained. I know. I like to keep it tidy. It's a little issue I have. This is a <laughs> folded pocket project. Yes. I love this one. So again, you've got the. I've got the work so one. Let me, let me so this started. Open. This started as a as a band sampler. Um, originally for a class. So that was the top of the, if you can picture that, that was the top of the band sample. Oh, right way around. There we are. So that was the top of the little band sample, and I worked down like that. And it was a weekend class at mine. And I'd obviously got my band sampler finished, and my ladies had gone home and were coming back the next day to, to finish. And I thought, oh, what a shame. Wouldn't it be nice if it was a little pocket? So that evening, I joined it at the side seams and lined it with some hand-dyed felt. So they came in to find they'd got a pocket if they wanted one. Mm. That, so, would, that would fit a little phone. Yeah, it would fit a phone. Yeah. This is or your tissue, your tissues. Tissues, tissues in the car. Your lippy, yeah. lippy in your mirror. Um, this, this is cross stitch on linen. The exception is this stitch here. Now, do you remember when I was talking just now? I said about um, this pulled, yes. drawn and cut. Well, this stitch here that looks holy. Can you see that? You can, can't you? Let me just wait for that to be visible. You can see the one that's got the little holes. That's what's called four-sided stitch. It's not difficult. Once you've got the hang of it, you'll be away like a train. Uh, but the point is that it's pulled. So as you make the stitch, you yank it um, to make the little holes. So it's generally worked in fabric that's a similar colour to the fabric because it's the holes you're looking for rather than the stitch. Right. Can you see what I mean? Yes, And yes. It's a funny thing. We've discovered over the years that you can put things on a band sampler that absolutely don't go together. But if you separate them with a four-sided stitch, somehow it always works. So the four-sided stitch, all it is, is you've got a box on the front, but there's always a cross on the back and it pulls. So yes, very sweet. So not difficult. Very clever. But very pretty. And it gives you a chance to try lots of different try stitches, different things. It? Yes, and, and then create this, something out of it if you want to. Yes, this is lined with um, a piece of this is Oliver Twist's pure wool um, felt, and which comes in the kit. So the kit again, you know, the the lovely um, photograph, the instructions. Um, is there a chart in here? here I it hope is. so. There's the chart, <laughs> and a bit more because obviously it's quite long, isn't it? And then your instructions, your yarns again, or your flosses, yes, yes. the needle, and your little bit of the felt mm. to make the little mm. thing. Yeah. So it's all there, so you can make all that. So this one is, it's, I think they're just lovely because you can do a little bit at a time, Absolutely. can't you? Band because samples are lovely to yeah. do. And if when you're doing something, for instance, like the Paradise Gardens, I always say to ladies who look at me, go, oh, it's got hard hang on it. And I say, it's counted, remember, there's nothing on the fabric, so you don't have to do it. Yes. With counted, you, you there's don't no have transfer. You do that one if you don't you, want If to. you don't want to do that, put an alphabet in there. Like, yes. Oh. So the other thing is, if you're learning a stitch and you loathe it, there isn't usually very much of it, because you go to the end of the row and then it stops. Yes. So it's a very good way of learning new stitches, um, having something pretty to hang on the wall, and learn the techniques as well. And as I said, this is only two techniques, plus how to do the hem around the edge. Yes. And, yes. and do you have instructions on how to make it into the little purse? Yes, yes. So that's yes. in there Just as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, it's very it's, simple. It's very sweet. And the colours work, don't they? Yes. This is a very traditional, this, this border here. Um, if, you, if you look in a catalogue, I was going to say Laura Ashley, but sadly they're no longer there, are they? But if you look in what I call posh catalogues, house catalogues, the stylist will have a sampler and you'll find it in three different rooms in the catalogue with any luck if you yes. hunt around. And often that'll be the border that's round the edge. The stylized strawberry it was a very common border. And ditto the one below there. Yes, so yes, smashing. Yes, and, I and think it's a really lovely it's got way an of learning feel. these. Yeah, it has. It's got an antique feel to it, but it, I just like it's a small enough project to learn all of those stitches. As you say, if you like, if you do one, you think, you know, I really don't like that. Fine. Do something else. You know how to do it. Do something else. Absolutely. Absolutely. But it's it's a, a lovely way of sort of getting it all together, and it comes in this beautiful little kit. Everything you need in it. So you really have brought some wonderful new kits Thank to you. us today. Thank you. Thank you.
But we want to uh, take an opportunity. We've got a few minutes left to quickly recap the eye stitch. Oh, you haven't right. got your laptop, but can we just talk yes, it through? Yes. Well, if I just go onto the back, if I tell you, um, obviously it comes in. A, there's a there is a sheet of paper in this box, which is from me, just to say, don't panic yet. This is what you do first, and then you'll see what to do. Um, you can make colour, black and white, or combination charts. You can design hardanger hem stitch. There are 72 stitch diagrams. Uh, the 40, 42 ready-made stitches in the stitch um, in the special stitches. Sorry, the grid size is 500 by 500. So that's quite a large project. There are black work patterns. So one of the things I didn't get time to show you earlier was if you make a shape, you can fill it with black work patterns. Uh, like the, the Tudor yes. black and gold patterns. Um, so there are black work patterns in the library for you to use. You can design with beads. There's 100 colours in the palette. Uh, and there's automatic outlining. So if you wanted to outline something and not sit there and do it, it will outline between colours or just around the edge. Um, so that's the things that um, it'll do. And in the packet... Um, in the sort of library of designs that exist already, there are 15 Biscornu patterns. Now, I don't know if any of you know what I mean by a Biscornu. We don't have one today, but they're those interesting pin cushions that are actually an offset square with a button in the middle. And many of you will have seen me with them before. And they're... Um, Zig we call them zigzag pin cushions because of the way they join together. There are 15 Biscornu patterns. Obviously, I mentioned the videos, um, but you need a CD in the in the doofer. You've got the cards and samplers, a conversion of photographs to charts, as I told you. Um, all those shade cards, the needle sorter in that book is also on here. You could print it out if you wanted to. There's the motif library, which is where I got the hair when we showed earlier. And um, set with set, ditch, ditch diagrams and instructions, yes. So, it's. I mean, I, I think it's the cleverest thing. I think. I think. I agree. Now, if you want to see Jane um, actually go through it on the computer, we did that earlier, so you can see that on the Sewing Street YouTube channel. Yes, go um, on. Just YouTube. search for that. I mean, I, I like the idea that this is a piece of software that is good for all levels of cross stitch. Absolutely. Whether you're an absolute beginner. Yes. Um, because it's got everything already ready-made sort of yes, for you. Yes, there's lots or on there. whether you've got some design flair and design ideas. And actually, you know, if you sit there with the blank screen and think, right, OK, I clear, as I said, I clear the palette out of the way, so I've just got a blank one. Go into any one of the coloured palettes and choose a tan and make a tree trunk just with the cross-stitch. And then think, oh, we must have a hole in it for an owl. Right, I need a dark brown. And then put a hole in it for an owl. And then do some green. You'll be amazed. You will be amazed. You're speaking to a woman whose art masters and sewing mistress at my senior school told my mother they were wasting their time. I was wasting their time and her money. I couldn't draw anything. I couldn't sew anything. <laughs> but I can if there's squares. So I'd no more sit down now and draw something on a piece of white paper than go to the moon. Because I can't. You give me a piece of squared paper and I'll sit there and draw flowers and whatever freehand and then square them off to make them cross-stitchable. Yes. But you don't have to do that with this because no. it does it for do you. do it for you. So you can draw it freehand. I draw it freehand. I, I, I really, the thing that really sells it to me is the fact that you can actually scan in. So you don't scan it into this, you scan it into your computer yes, and then yes. bring it into this. But you can scan in photographs. And have a go. So you could do portraits, you could do pets. You could, I've seen as some... You say, flowers and things from the garden. I mean, sometimes I wonder about this. One lady's done four or five different weddings now where she's got the bride and groom standing in front of the church door. And it's solid stitching. So the entire fabric, I don't know how many thousands of stitches that is. Now, it looks exactly like the photograph, but it's taken her two years 
So whether it's a good idea or not, I don't know, <laughs> because it looks like a lot of work to me, particularly all that background. You see, the reason I like cross stitch rather than canvas work is you don't have to stitch the beige. <laughs> you know, when you do a cushion, yes. there's always that background to do. When you do cross stitch, you just do the stitching and the background's empty. So that's why I'm never sure about wedding photographs. But I mean, yes. I've seen some beauties exactly. and some certainly pets, favourite dogs. My yes. sister, uh, Diane, who's next one but one down from me, I'm one of five. She has done, my sister, the next one up, she's done five of her dogs historically and put their names underneath yes. them from photographs. And it's a lovely thing I, to I have. Just, I think that's a really lovely idea. And I, and I say, as a, as a beginner as well, that you can go in and you can choose from 2,000 designs Patterns. that are already on there. Yes. And then if, you can personalise them by adding some font and well, lettering think, to it if you want to. Yes. And when you've got your bundle here, I mean, just imagine, if you really are batty, you could sit and <laughs> stitch um, the 25 days of December um, for an advent calendar there are masses of little Christmas patterns on there, just the right size for yes. a pocket or something. Yes. So Holly you could leaves, actually create a little there advent is, calendar. And then it's a pocket. We have one, well, my kids, but from books that I've done in the past, I have two that had pockets. So they get theirs with liqueurs in now. Yes. <laughs> Instead of just a teddy. <laughs> Don't need the little chocolate anymore. No, no. <laughs> oh, we've had a message from oh, Jill. Hi. Okay, so can you recommend a kit for an absolute beginner? Um, Which one of your kits would you recommend? Um, from today, one of the pin cushions. One of the butterfly pin cushions mm. would be fine. One of the butterfly, do it on the Ada first time, as they're available on the Ada. As I said, I learned on linen, but you know. Um, Ada is easier to do the counting. It's count, easier isn't it? to do the counting. Once you've got the concept of getting. There's the chart and there's the empty fabric. Now what do I do? I had a lady ring me once and she said, I've ironed it wet, I've ironed it dry, I've left it in the sun, the pattern hasn't come off. <laughs> Bless her, a long time ago now. But counting means that you start with the empty fabric, which is lovely because, you know, there, there is an element of painting by numbers inevitably because you're taking something I've drawn yes. and copying it. But um, if you sat and did one of those butterflies, probably the holly blue, because you don't change colours as often. Um, and just have a look at the read instructions that are written for you. And then it will be worth just going to the Cross Stitch Girl website, which is thecrossstitchgirl.com. Just go to Stitch Basics, which is up on the right. Click on that. And you'll see there, there's an explanation of Ada and Linen. Uh, there's how to take your threads apart, which I forgot to show. Oh, I'll yes, do you're it now going really, show really that, quickly. Um, it, it'll show you how to thread your needle and it'll show you how to um, start in the middle and how big the stitch should look. So we're, instead of trying to part this, just can I just say the graphics we've got up now are for the holly blue one that you're oh well you were done. talking That's about. One, the simplest one of the two. So what I'm going to do instead of trying to split it. I've got hold of one and I'm pulling. And there it is. And I'm going to do it again. Have you done this before, Jane? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't actually, I make a pig's though. mess of this, actually. Just a minute. <laughs> there we go. If I can get hold of this one. Right, so that's that. Now I start, and you'll get a chance to see this on that where I told you. I start with that folded in half. So I thread my needle with the two whiskers and then I've got the loop to pass the thread through underneath. But there is a diagram in your instructions in all the kits how to do that. If you, if you have two colours, two different colours to go on your needle, which sometimes happens and it's called tweeding. So I've got a light brown and a dark brown, say. I line the threads up again and then thread the needle. Do you put both through the needle at the, the same, same time? time? You can work. Suppose you were doing a Cotswold tie roof. Uh, you could have five different shades by combining dark grey, light grey, brown and grey, because none of them are grey. Same with Cotswold stone. You yes. can mix it up. 
So tweeding is a nice way. To, it doesn't always work. I mean, it, it doesn't always look... The mixture of the colours is quite crucial. Yes. You see, if I did a red brick house with somebody, I wouldn't use one colour of red brick because they aren't. No, because if you look at shades, them, the, yes. the shades in there. It also tends to look flat and a bit stylized. Whereas if you mix, say, a brown and a, a, a dusty orange, and if you experiment, you'll find. Yeah, you'll find what suits. So obviously, if you've mixed your colors, you have to start with a knot on the end. But if you haven't, you can do the folded method. And as I said, there's lots of there's there's pictures in the kits. And as I said, the um, the Stitch Basics is where we videoed herself at the kitchen table. Showing how to do it. Showing how to do it. So do have a look back on the Sewing Street website for all of Jane's hours. Um, don't forget today, use the code WENDY on yes. all orders Happy over birthday. £50. Pounds. Yes, and you get... So that goes up to the end of the night, so 11.59, I guess, at the, slightly the end of the night. Um, but very quickly, we've got a picture from Karen. Oh, Ooh. has she done what oh, we're talking word. about? Look at that. Well done, look. There you are, I proved my case. 30 years ago she did that. Isn't it smashing? What a yes. nice thing. She obviously did it without the eye stitch, but now you can do that much more simply. She's obviously a very, very talented lady. There, there was yes. certainly... Thanks, Karen. There was certainly um, uh, a, a firm that were doing stitch a picture or... Something like that, yes, that they're yes, in, advertised in the back that. of the magazines. Yes, yes. OK, so we need to look at tomorrow's menu. So firstly, thank you ever so That's much, right, Jane. Darling. It's been such it's been a lovely. pleasure. Yeah, it really nice has. to see you again, old thing. <laughs> Always, hopefully we'll see you at Ali Pally, if yeah. I don't see oh, you before Fingers then. crossed for Ali Pally. Um, so what have we got tomorrow? Who's with us tomorrow? Sorry? Vicky Carroll's with us tomorrow. So we've got at 8 o'clock Fabulous Fabric. Then at nine o'clock, we've got Edith Tunic Dress with Adele Rowland. Uh, 10 o'clock, that's a little bit ambiguous, Kits Revisited. So what are, what are they going to be? Uh, we've got a, a Mrs. Dress, a Butterick Dress again with Adele Rowland. And then we've got Hand Dyed Knits. So that's what we have got tomorrow. So do join Vicky with that one. Do check back your baskets, make sure you check out um, and make sure you make it up to £50 if you're not quite £50, so you can get your £10 off. And we are now going to go to Yarn Lane for our show on socks. So I... Oh, and, and a scarf with hands in it. So I will see you after the break.